Okay, we're ready. <sighs> Very nice. Sorry, guys. It's just um. Uh, it's just that uh, streaming software has this thing where like um, you can't switch audio sources while it's open. You know, so I had to close it a little bit and just uh, I had to close it a little bit and reopen it again. <laughs> Like, um, for example, if I have my um, speakers active and I uh, turn on my streaming software and then I change my source to headphones, it won't reflect. I need to close it and open it again. Uh, something like that. In fact, most uh, most BRBs at the beginning of the stream are... Um, are is that. <laughs> Hello! I hope you guys are doing good. Are you ready for Apollo Justice? It's been like, what, two weeks? Two weeks ever since our last Apollo Justice stream, I am ready for sure. Well, um, I have the game open, so yeah. Uh, just to do a little recap, just to do a little recap, we were at the um, episode two called Turnabout Corner. So we did investigation day one, which turns out to be some kind of um. A panty, um, panty thief case thingy, but somebody also died. But we did go on trial as well. But it turns out that, well, we did catch the criminal of the panty thief, but not the actual killer. And we also do see a recurring character, which is Emma, which is which we are very, very excited about. And we see our new prosecutor. Good vibe so far. Pretty cool guy. In my opinion. But we'll see. So we did one trial. And then... It's gonna be our second day of investigating. It's been two weeks. So you know. We might need to recall some stuff, you know, as we go. But I feel like we'll be okay. Because it's a, it was a pretty good time to stop the stream. And then we're continuing at a good spot. Yes. I also uh, feed his daughter. Yeah, of course. Anyways, I hope you guys are ready for the stream because we are going to switch immediately to the a game stream. I wonder if I should put myself um, the right or left. Maybe I'll put myself back on the back on the right because um, some games really wanted me to go on the left. But I guess not this one. All right. I guess. We will be ready. Okay. Music on. Everybody. Everybody here? Yes. Okay, looks good, looks good. Awesome. Did you order salty noodles? Oh, I even forgot we had salty noodles. But I did actually have uh, noodles. But more like me, I am, you know, just standard uh, ID chicken noodles. I went out actually. I went out to eat and then I came back. So yeah. Uh, very nice. How could you forget Mr. Salty? Whatever. I don't. I don't care who he is. Anyways, let's continue. You guys expect me to care about too many people? Okay, June 16. And uh, right, anything agency. Ah, our beloved daughter, Ru. What a train wreck that was. I'm glad we made it out of that trial alive. I forgot how I voiced Apollo. <laughs> I don't remember. I just remember that I sounded him in a being a, a little a very defeated. <laughs> really? I had fun. And Walkie made it through the day too. Everyone was too obsessed with panties to bother with the real case. But it was good publicity. Imagine the crowd of my show tonight. You should come, Polly. Yeah. Uh, oh, jeez. Uh, the amazing Mr. Hat will be making an appearance. Hi, folks. I'll be here all week. That's about enough of them. Uh, hello? Oh, Miss Tiala. Thank you for today. The trial went well. This gal did it, did she? Oh, right. Uh, no problem. 
Do you think Walkie will be okay? Well, he's not guilty. Yet. Please, you have to help him. We're supposed to get married next month. Oh, uh, congratulations. Ugh, way to put the pressure on a guy. Please let me know if there is anything I can do to help. Nice music. We love this. Marriage. What about the marriage? Are you sure about marrying into the Kataki family? I'm fine with it. And I love Waki with all my heart. Nah. Aw, that's so sweet. So it doesn't bother you that uh, you'll be a... Uh, Married to the mob? I don't think so. My parents are against it, of course. Say, we try to walk your first meet anyways. Oh, we met at an uh, online game. <laughs> Good question. Miss Tiara doesn't look like the type to have a gangster connections. Oh, we met at my old job, actually. What old job? Ah, office romance. She's not very forthcoming with information about herself, is she? What's your old job? Mm. What about the talkies? Did you know that the boss is trying to get out of the business? Uh, really? Uh, Mr. Kataki wants to quit being a gangster? He's trying to transfer his assets into a normal company. He only announced it recently, out of the blue. I hear there's quite a lot of confusion in the ranks. Uh, I wonder if this explains that apron? I can't imagine Waki going along with that. <laughs> He's highly motivated, isn't he? Uh, that's not the word I would have used. He said, I'll be the next big boss and keep the family alive. I think it's that the Asian boys want to make a mark on the world. That's not the way I would have put it. His father moves in a lot of circles. He's really focused on profits. The Kentucky family has been making a killing recently. <laughs> not the word I would use. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Milwaukee says it's not about the money. They have the gangster tradition to uphold. Ooh, a generation gap. They've even got the ever classic what about the family business thing going. Usually, has the father worried about tradition? Alright, Walkie's operation. Could I ask you a question about Walkie? I understand he was operated on by the victim, Dr. Muractus. Apparently, yes. I was in his clinic about half a year ago. He messed up my op something bad. And then he just lets me go, without a word. See you later, bye! So I gotta go in, get another doc to patch me up again. Yes, it sounded horrible. Wagi has always been fond of fighting, I'm afraid. I'm not sure it qualifies as fighting when pistols are involved. <laughs> Mr. Gavin was saying his life might be in danger, wasn't he? Uh, no, that can't be right. I'm sure he was just trying to scare us. It's scary to think that a surgeon might make a mistake. But it's even scarier when he tries to hide it. Well, or maybe we'll find somebody suspicious uh, today. I'd like to know a little more about this. Operation. Maybe it's time to pay them rack this clinical visit. I should be getting home now. Walk is in your hands, Mr. Justice. Uh, right, uh, leave it to me. Apollo, I think you're only making her more nervous. Sorry, I'm new with this, okay? <laughs> it's alright. I believe in you. All right. Um, well, let's go to the clinic then, huh? Um, how do I go to the clinic again? I'm guessing L Dune's house. Move to the... Ooh, doggy. Whoa! Jeez, that scared me! The, um, the thing. The, 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 the figure. <laughs> Maybe I should go from, um... Maybe I should not go to the garage. Maybe I should go to Eldune House and click on the door or what? Mm, let's see. 
I just want one. one. Oh, here. Okay. Maybe I can... Hello? The front entrance to the Maractus Clinic. The walls and posts are so highly polished, I can see my face in them. On... Um... Wait, my hairdo is a little flat. There. Perfect. So, huh? Eh? Huh? Looks like this is a banner for some campaign. Three shots for the price of one. Somehow I don't see people lining up for that. A police car is parked in front of the Maractus Clinic. It's empty. The police must be inside investigating. And... Where do we... Where do we... Where do we, where do we come... Hmm... Hmm... We'll see, we'll see. Hmm? This trash can... This is where we found the mirror! Come to think of it, wasn't there something else in here? Something near the bottom. Look at the paint on these! That means... These must have ended up in here after Mr. Fred's accident! Maybe they're connected? Let's pick them up! Right. Okay. Um. All right. We can move to the what? We can try to go into the park. And there's nothing at the park. I wonder. I wonder. Now we can identify this. I wonder, could this be a print? Why would there be a fig- Oh, you meant a toll print! Good call, Apollo! Who oh, can analyze it just like a regular print? This could be a vital piece of evidence. There we go. Who is this? Hey, it worked! That looks like... a uh, big toe, maybe? Wow, I feel like the case is solved already! What was next? We have to match the print, right? Right! Uh, let's match it! Uh, wait. The detective didn't give us a list of toe prints, Apollo. Oh, good point. Maybe we should ask her? Get some expert advice? I guess so. I'm not sure she really qualifies as an expert. Alright. Okay, so... Where do we... Uh, where do we... Toe police! Uh, is anybody at the Hickfield Clinic? Nope. Um, LD... Detention Center, what about it? Alright, that's where we go now. Mm, looks like Walkie's out of que for questioning. I really need to talk to him. I guess we'll come back later. Excuse me. What's excuse me? Yes? The other suspect is all through with the questioning, sir. The other... Ah, you mean the panty snatcher? Oh, jeez. All right. Wesley Stickler. So they arrested him too? All right. Let's have a little chat with Mr. Stickler then. I hope I don't regret this. He's a valuable witness. He is a bit precious. I'll give him that. What is this sad music? Please, give this brief if you would. I'm quite busy. Oh, jeez, it's him. I need to finish this paper. <laughs> it's you! Uh, Mr. Stickler, uh, we'd like to have a few words with you. Very well. As long as they're few. Nothing would make me happier, believe me. Mr. Stickler, on the night of the murder, you stole... Wait! I can't help but feel that I'm being misunderstood! How, exactly? Yes, that night, I obtained a pair of panties, it's true. However, it was my burning curiosity that drove me to do it, nothing more. You wanted to know the trick to my panties, right? You're here to... Hmm? Oh, great, Trucy! Teach me! Huh? 
I must know the secret of your panties. My very existence hangs in the balance. Please make me your apprentice. Oh, help! <laughs> Mama, I'm <takut. laughs> uh, I don't know. I think he'd make a great, uh, lovely assistant. Don't say that, Apollo. Could you relate what you saw the night of the murder to us one more time? Why not? Though it hardly differs from the testimony I gave in court. The defendant was there in the park that night. Of this, I'm quite certain. He was pointing a pistol, or something like that, at the victim. That's when I shouted, Stop, you two! Let's resolve this like gentlemen! And the next moment, a shot was fired. And this is all true? Really? My panties are gone. My innermost heart revealed. What further reason could I possibly have to lie? I can't think of anything I'd want to hide any more of pan than panty snatching, true. It sounds like Waki was at the scene of the crime, after all. How I wish it weren't so. Right. Okay, he doesn't know. Fine, ignore my evidence. See if I care. I wonder what he's thinking. On oh, second thought, let's not go there. Okay, he doesn't care about the... What about the pistol? Wait, can we check the pistol, actually? Or did we? There's probably nothing on the pistol, huh? Oh, so... Mm. Whoa! Don't point that thing at me! Don't worry! I can handle myself around guns. Magic guns, at least. The ones that pigeons came out of. <laughs> you want? They're reassuring. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, nothing else, I guess. Oh yeah, we, we, we check this. Okay, he doesn't want this evidence. What about the noodle stand? No, he doesn't want anything. Mm, yeah. Yeah, he doesn't really care about anything, so... Alright. Goodbye. Um, I don't know. It seems like there's still more, but... Seems like there's still more, but I kind of don't know. Kind of stuck still. What about the clinic? Nothing. Any leads? Yeah, actually. What, what, what about leads? So, any leads? Mm, one moment. Mm, Shazam! Alakazam! Oh, yeah, we didn't do that. Evidence keeps flying out of nowhere. Ta-da! That's all. Neat, huh? Okay. I don't, I don't have to... Ah, my arm! Hold on. We are back. Neat, huh? Okay, yeah, we haven't done it. Yeah, real neat. That's, um... I didn't realize, yeah. Hmm? Du -du -du. Okay. Um... Um... Yeah? The phone? What about the phone? What about the phone? We check this. And not. Hmm? <laughs> I mean. What if this is really a jar or something else, like jam or honey? <laughs> yeah, the thing is, um. The phone has no fingerprints. There's nothing to check. Um, there's nothing to check, unlike what we did with the uh, with the sandals. Big toe print found in left slipper. Uh, did we present the big toe? Did we present the sandals? Maybe he knows about it. 
Uh, I was hoping to meet with my client. Walkie Kataki just finished questioning. I'll bring him out. Huh? <laughs> huh? Wait, I kind of want to... My, my nails feel... I want to cut my fingernails. Great! Finally! Ah, okay. Maybe Walkie knows it. Yo, sub, my little imposter! What do you mean, my little imposter? Eh, what did you call me? Kazam! It's you? Sorry, G. Thought you were Alita. My little imposter. Sure is a strange nickname. It's a clink thing. You wouldn't understand. D -d 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 Did I say imposter? I am imposter, like a poster girl, you know? If you're going to drop part of that, why not drop poster and just call her girl? Yeah, I think like they're, uh, you know, like Alita is like a shady girl or whatever. Cause she's so much more than that, G. She's like, she's like an angel. A fallen angel. <laughs> what? So, what can I do you for? You don't look so chipper today, Walkie. Worried about your, um, uh, heart condition, maybe? That was the wackest thing of all. All us G's lining up, taking our exams and all that. Better to die young than fade away, bazooya! A relief to hear. Eh? What's a relief? Oh, did your father not tell you? That bullet you carry so close to your heart, if not attended to immediately, it could kill you. Oof. M man, I ain't trying to hear that! A man fights to protect what's valuable to him, you know what I'm saying? I miss my fallen angel! Hey, you go get a leader for me. You're my lawyer, aren't you? Lawyer, not gopher. <laughs> Just wants a leader, huh? Yeah, whatever. Seems preoccupied. Not sure you even looked at my evidence. A leader, man. A leader. Okay. So I don't think uh, she wants to talk if there's no Alita. I hear you're to be married next month. Straight up! We poured the nope till 40 out of the stoop. Alita. Oh, Snapple Cakes. She's so fine. I think he's smitten with her in his own weird way. I was wondering, how did you two meet? I asked Tiala, but she was very vague. Huh? Well, man, she wouldn't tell you. I best hold my tongue, you feel me? What? Man, what's past is past. She knows that. When I'm with Alita... I feel like there's things worth protecting out there. You feel me? And my Alita, she's down with all with that all the way. Mm, so both of them learn mum about their past. Do you think they could tell us what happened with you and Palmeractus? There's something you should know. We could talk as they're having what you might call a food with the Rivalis family. So, what's this month's back? I go into Rivalis' turf, packing a knife, right? And... Oh, he were shot! Coldest thing I've ever seen. One shot to the heart, but my homies weren't too late. It's a miracle that I lived. It's already considered one of the seven wonders of the Kotaku family, you know that? So, you were taken to the Maractus clinic then. You should have seen their faces when they wheeled me in. You can't just let the boss son die, you know? I'd hate to have been in that doctor's shoes. <laughs> Mr. Kotaku's scary enough when he's not angry. But the bullet that hit you... It was never removed? And it's still threatening his life. Maybe the doctor wants him to die. Or what? I don't know. The doctor. He did it on purpose! The revolves paid him off, I'm sure of it! I mean... Not exactly off the table. I... I need to hear more about the night of the murder. That much is clear. What about Walkie's future? Life in the family is a G thing. It's about being a man. You know what I'm saying? Sorry, I'm not up on my G things. I'm not even sure what a G thing is. But my old man, he's gone soft. He says the old rival gang days are over. He just wants to make money. Isn't that a good thing? Man, there ain't no soul in making money. Better to live fast and die young for shizzle. <laughs> Why 
Wait till I run the yard. Then everyone will know what time it is. That's right. OG time all the time. Represent. Apollo, why does he keep talking about old guys? I don't think that's what OG means, Trucy. <laughs> Jeez, all right. Okay, uh... So I don't think he cares about our evidence, either. Yeah. Once needs Alita. Won't talk unless it's Alita. Yeah, alright. Let's, um, try to... F Let's try to find Alita for... I don't know. Okay, um, let's go to Kataki Mansion. Oh! Let's go! We're making progress! Bye, oh, it's here! Yeah, I'm so she's back! Hey, you two, over here! Yeah, us? Yo, little plump, what's up? I think all this gangster reads is a negative influence on Trucy. I heard you retrieved my bloomers! Well, I was just a bad. A man speaks clearly and takes credit where it's due. Damn. You caught the thief, didn't you? Uh, yes. Uh, sorry, I caught him. You're cute and you're nervous, Polly. I'll deal with you later. But enough about bloomers. What about my son, Rocky? Rocky? Uh, well, he's uh, clearly. Yes, ma'am. This is why I was kind of hoping we could avoid coming back here. Alright, let's talk. He is really everything you'd expect in the boss's son. I'm going to be a gangster, dude. The life does have an appeal for that age, particularly for boys. What? Don't look at me like that. He was shot in a turf war about half a year ago. Yeah, we heard the story from Walkie. But he didn't tell you the whole story. Ooh, what is the whole story? Mmm, what? You know, even if he had a pistol then, he couldn't have shot anyone. <gasps> what? He acts like he's hard, but he could have shot someone to save his life. I should know. I'm his mom. <laughs> Her words have a certain weight to them. Hopefully, when this is all taken care of, he and the boss can sort out their differences. The boss. You mean Walkie's father? They didn't seem to be on the best terms, did they? Shh. It's true. One of our pistols is missing. So the murder weapon was from this mansion. We kind of figured, given the difficulty of obtaining a gun these days. None of the rank and file have access. Only the boss, myself... And Walkie could have taken it. I see. I'm sure the cops will continue tromping all over the mansion because of this case. Maybe this is a sign that it's time for a change. <laughs> she doesn't seem too concerned, at least. And what about Alita? Yeah, Walkie's fiance. They're getting married next month, correct? I suppose. She has been staying over lately. You don't look too happy about that, little plum. How'd you guess? Even I could tell that. <laughs> could you tell us uh, more about her? Walkie brought her home one day. Says he wants to tie the knot. I can see why. She's so pretty. Oh, she's pretty enough, but... You know... Hmm? Nah, it's probably just me being suspicious. Stay in this business too long. And you start to only see darkness in people. You got a nose for it. A nose for people, a nose for trouble. I wonder what the problem is. It's like a gangster's only version of female intuition! <laughs> I guess. The boss may act tough, but that boy means the world to him. But Walkie seems... Well... It seems like he's against his father's position. Ah, it's to be expected. We're in a bit of a transition now. 
trying to cut our ties to the shadier side of the street and do more in the up and up. Um, Walkie isn't too enthusiastic about the change, it's true. But why the change? Is the gangster thing just not paying the bills? Wait, I think I'm gonna wanna order coffee. Let me order coffee. I want to order coffee because I'm eepy. Gangsta thinks it's not paying the bills. Ah, 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 ah. It pays. But we need a lot of money right now. Clean money, that is. I see. Something must be up. He'll see things the way the boss sees them. One day. Nanuhodo. Sorry, kid. I don't know what the sandals. About these. Uh... Hey, my bloomers. Thanks for that. I owe you one. I thought you might like them back, so... Eh? Oh, no, no. <laughs> Why don't you keep them as a souvenir? <laughs> you don't know? <laughs> oh, no, I couldn't really. <laughs> Thanks for the offer, but... I could use those to make magic patties at! I'll pull shivs and pieces of godfathers out of them. Great. Now your props are going from bland to dangerous. Okay. Oh, my God. My back hurts, actually. Ugh. <sighs> Stretch. Oh yeah, we can present people's profiles. <sighs> Wait, we can't. Can we? We can't. We can't, actually. Ugh, we can't. Yeah, I, I think so. Alright, what's in the Eldoon's house? Hey, it's Mr. Eldoon! Oh, Mr. Eldoon! <clears throat> what's wrong? So, you found my stat. That's why I'm here. To thank you. Ah. But now it's a crime scene and they won't let me have it back! That's also why I'm here. I've, no I've got no other place to go. Uh, I see. How can a noodle stand be a crime scene? That's what I don't get. Trucy doll. Even in death, he's after my neck, I tell ya. Pah! Can't even cook an honest noodle. He? Even in death? You mean the victim, Dr. Maractus? I tell ya. It's enough to drive a man to make his soup even saltier. Remind me never to eat his noodles when he's in a bad mood. That's Stan. For generations, it served out the very best noodles us El Dudes could make. A tradition of noodles and salty broth. It's more than a stand, it's history, I tell ya. Watch what you say or it may become true. That's a great story, Mr. El Dune. A single stand passed down from generation to generation. Of course, to be honest, I didn't plan on doing it. That's right, you said something about that. 
about you rebelling against your pops, was it? Good memory, Trucy doll. My back hurts, oh my god, wait, hold on. Ah, oh, I need to... Hey, I was a go get it back in my day. <laughs> Ouch. <sighs> Until my friend next door butted in. In the end, I was left with nothing but this dusty old stand to earn my fortune. Hmm. I really, really need. I really need a massage. Mr. L. Dude, I don't mean to pry. But what exactly did you do before you became a chef? A gangster, just kidding. Ha! Let old noodles lie, that's what I say. I'm starting to get an idea of what he did anyways. He stole my dreams and left me with nothing but noodles. And now I don't even have that. Mr. Eldoon, if I might ask. What exactly happened between you and the Maractus Clinic? Ah! Ah! I couldn't help but sense enmity there. Enmity? I hate him! I uh, hate him. Him acting like he smells like roses when he's rolling in mud! Ooh, damn. Excuse me? He's the only doctor at that clinic, you know. Pretty impressive, eh? I'll tell you the secret to his success. The mob! You mean, the Kataki family? They're always having one of them turf wars and whatnot. Always an injury or two that needs fixing, but I just saw a chance for some business. So we've started giving the Kataki family a good deal. A deal? Every fifth operation for free! Huh? He stole the idea from my pops. One free bowl of noodles a week, he used to say. Uh, Did the doctor just decide to do that? What about the insurance companies? Oh, no doubt it's illegal, but it got even good with the family. Pretty soon, he was getting all the business in town. Leaving me here in the dark. Hop to my neck and soupy noodles. I think I figured out Mr. Eldoon's former occupation. Can't hurt to ask, Capolo. He's a doctor? What is he? Or should I say, Dr. Eldoon? Figured it out, did ya? That's right, I was a doctor. A surgeon. Until the year before last. No! So Mr. Maractus was your rival? Do you like those onions they put in the soup broth? It, yeah, kind of. You take a spoon, you drink some broth, those onions will find their way in there. For people who like them, why that's just fine. For people who hate them. I hate onions! Hate him! Always sneaking in from the side, get in the way of the good taste and spoonful. Well, that's what he was. An onion. Onion boy. That's what I called him. So, you weren't exactly friends. Ha! Me and Palmractus. Ever since preschool, we were getting in each other's face. No matter what I did, sure enough, he'd come following along. And he'd do it better than me. Just blow right past without so much as a howdy. I see. That's right, I was a surgeon long before he was, you know? And that no good onion boy comes along. Well, Trucy, looks like we found ourselves a new suspect. <laughs> Don't say that! Thanks to him, I was forced to trade in my scalpel for a ladle. Sorry, pal. Didn't mean to weigh you down with an old man's ramblings. No, it's fine. By way of apology. You ever get yourself in a spot of trouble, you drop by. Huh? You're investigating what act is, aren't you? Hmm. Do -do 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 -do. Yes? Well, you want to know about a doctor? You ask a doctor. That's all I'm saying. You just think of me if you need something, Trucy doll. Right. Thanks, Mr. Eldoon. Hmm, I guess the time spent listening to him complain wasn't entirely wasted. Let's present. Okay. Hmm. 
Give me back my stand. Okay, then what am I supposed to do? Mm. Okay. Mm. Ah, there you go. Well, we've got to check out this clinic, that's for sure. Yeah, but what about the guard? No harm in asking. Uh, excuse me. Hey, it's you two from yesterday. That's the same officer that was standing out by the park yesterday. Your business is over in the park, isn't it? The clinic's off limits. It's not involved. But, but, but. What part of off limits do you not understand? Show me proof that the clinic is connected to the incident in the park. Or beat it. Yes, I know. No harm in asking, no gain either. No point in sticking around here, I guess. Choo -choo 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 we can show, we can show the. Uh, we can show that it's related. This one, see, it's coming up. This one's a That's it. It's this! Mr. Officer, that's what it is. Show how it's related? I just... I, I have it! Alright. Mm. Alright then, we'll just go back. Examine... And maybe... Um, we'll be able to go to the park or something. And maybe we'll get to see... Um, Maybe we'll get to see somebody. Maybe Emma will be at People Park. No, she's not in People Park. Looks like that old lady's at it again. Look, I told you yesterday the park's off limits. And I told you yesterday this is how I go home! Okay, you want me to go around? How about giving me five bucks? Like yesterday. The con artist strikes again. <laughs> nice. Man, Emma! Where is Emma? The peak crime scene is off limits to the public. The park, sorry, not the peak crime scene. <laughs> the police officer on guard by the gate is yawning. Uh, he noticed me staring and snapped his mouth shut. Too late, Mr. Officer. I saw you. Alright, um... Anybody in the hospital? Anybody in the No? Nobody in the hospital? Nobody in the hospital? That's one of my bowls. See the Mr. Salty Mark? The mascot of Eldoon? They come to the stand, they sit, they drink tea from that bowl. When they see the bottom, their face looks just like Mr. Salty's genius, no? Very high concept. You can't play a trade and you don't lose the tools. Remember that? Yes, sir. Trucy has a thing for professionals, clearly. I'm somewhat of a professional. Okay, he don't care. He don't care about the peonies. Alright. What about the cell phones? No. Fingerprint powder, doesn't care. That's right, Sonny. When are you bringing my stand home? I'm ready. Can't you see I'm ready? I guess. Until that stand is back home, the case is not closed. You hear me? I think I'll avoid talking about his stand in the future. <laughs> okay. And not this either. Mm. 
What if there's something in the garage now? Probably not, huh? Several colors of paint have been splashed across the gate, and most of it's pretty much dry, too. This is going to be one heck of a cleanup job. So this pistol belongs to the Kotaku family, is that correct? It's one of the pieces we keep around. That is, we used to keep around. They're all gone now. Oh? Police came yesterday and took everything. Everything but my broom! Don't you think you should have given them that too? You kidding? Can't clean up very well without a broom! Tell me if this knife belongs to Walkie. Oh, that's his knife, all right. Bought it for him on his birthday. Oh, that's pretty hardcore present. I remember him falling asleep with it clutched in his arms. <laughs> that's oddly wholesome. Ooh, I know the feeling. And I'll bet he was just as happy as I was with a plastic spaghetti. The mirror we found from the hit and run, huh? It's funny how it all ties together like this. He chased after a hit and run and went of Walkie's attorney. Of course, you'll find the real killer soon, won't you? Okay. Right. Let's move. Okay, there's nobody in People Park. I'm so sad. Hmm, where haven't I gone to? Okay. He wants Alita. About these weapons, these the pistol and the knife. They belong to the family. I snuck them out that night. So the killer, Mr. Stickler, say he saw that night was... I guess it was me. I was there after all. We're finished. <clears throat> Yo, Waki! Do you think you could tell us exactly what happened that night? <laughs> you don't beat around the bush, do you? I like your style, Shorty. Okay, I think this unlocks the dialogue. Yes! Uh, actually, there's a question I've been wanting to ask you for a while now. That is, uh, did you do it? Did you shoot him? I don't know. Eh? The day of that checkup, when I found out about the bullet by my heart, I borrowed a gun from the family's stash. Figured I'd give that doctor a taste of his own bad medicine. Uh oh, I don't like where this is going. Uh, you were carrying a knife, weren't you? Oh, that? Yeah, well, never can be too careful, I say. So I'm on my way to the clinic, right? When I run to him in the park, he's dragging this noodle stand behind him. Yeah, what the heck is going on? Why is he stealing the freaking card, dude? <laughs> Does he want to start selling noodles or what? Wait, you didn't put him up to that? Like, you know, in the movies? If you value your life, you'll bring the stand. Shorty, you're more wack than I am, and that's saying something. But I was serious! Thing is, I don't remember what happened next all too well. You don't remember? But the way I see it, if there wasn't anyone else there that night, then I guess it probably was me who did him in. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it was <laughs> a last stand. <laughs> yeah, anyways, yeah, I was saying something about a night of the crime. And I don't know. Yeah, whatever. Okay, he doesn't care about this one. He doesn't care about this one either. The panties. He doesn't care. He only cares about the weapon, I think. Yeah, the pistol and the knife. Uh, 
we haven't... Uh, oh yeah, we have checked it. Okay, and I think we've exhausted his dialogue. So maybe... Any leads? Oh, it's the same thing. Yeah. Anything in the hospital? Nope. Nothing in the hospital. I just keep going back and forth. Probably people trying to get a glimpse of the crime scene. But why are those girls screaming? Oh no. It's the Achtung baby guy. I think I just heard one say, Oh my god, it's him! Wait, that motorcycle. Ah, if it isn't dead forehead. Prosecutor Gavin. Some fans found me on my way out. Just my luck. Thus the screams. New album just came out, you know? Sorry, waving to them. They love it. Woo! He's so cute! <laughs> They're so excited, it doesn't matter who waves to them, see? This is surreal. Oh, uh, so you are here investigating? And I was on my way home. When, the hog, my, when my hog gave up the ghost. Your hog? My motorcycle won't start. A clogged exhaust pipe. Too bad. It looks like such a nice bike too. Well, you know, what if there's panties in the exhaust? <laughs> you never know. Hard to believe it would break just from that. Ah, it's my fault. I think I was using the wrong oil. Cars, motorbikes, they're all the same. Clog the exhaust and they won't run. Mmm, this seems important. Ah, machines, tell me you share my angst, Ter Forehead. I ride a bicycle, actually. Eh, <laughs> in any event, I'm off to the shop to get her fixed. The detective in charge of the scene isn't fond of me, in any case. The detective? You mean the one in the lab coat? Yeah, she's in a foul mood, too. Be gentle. Are we descend, baby? Ooh. Forecast for the park today. Gloomy skies. <laughs> well, nothing to do but head on in. Let's hit the park, Apollo. Right. Well, let's move to People Park. Did the statue always look like that? <laughs> Huh? Does something about this scene look different to you? That's what I thought. The statue didn't always look like that, right? Oh, the blue tarps are gone. Maybe that's it? I remember the statue wasn't that ugly. Yeah, I think you're right. Look over there. Oh, it's because it was covered by a tarp? It was it? I don't know. The white frock detective from yesterday. She seems to be apologizing reverently to the trash can. She's under a lot of stress. The investigation's probably not going so well. Hey! You there! If you're going to talk about someone behind their back, do it more quietly, please. <laughs> Yo, chill, bro, what? Oh, Detective Sky. Uh, hello. You seem as gloomy as ever. This is miserable. Miserable! I just got a new kit, and I can't get the stuff to work! And everyone's all smiles for that glimmerous fop. Glimmerous? Does she mean Prosecutor Gavin? Or to the point, does she mean glamorous? When he walks in his shiny chains, catch the sun and glimmer in my eyes! It's distracting! Oh my god. 
<laughs> Wait, hold on, I'll, I'll, I'll be right back, I'll be right back. Distracting. Speaking. Ah. Wait, my chair? Speaking of distracting. Ah, I guess I just have to accept the fact that I like talent. Aw, oh, don't be like that. Sounds like she's trying out some sort of new forensics technique. Detective Sky, you know Mr. Wright. Correct? How do you know my daddy? I want details! Ah? Uh, well... He helped me out a long time ago. You might say he... Saved me. Wasn't she saying something about getting involved in an incident? I can't stand it when things are vague. Especially in a case. I went to study to become a forensic scientist. In Europe. But... You're a detective now? Oof. Well, I failed the test. But, you know, rank and title doesn't matter. What matters is what's inside your heart. <laughs> For what? <laughs> I've always thought that too. And my heart is full of science. That's why I bought this kit through mail order. And I'm going to test it here before the forensics team arrives. Are you sure that's okay? <gasps> can, 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 I, need, I need to present toe prints to her. I don't lie, I'm not fond of the man. Those glimmerous types always rub me the wrong way. Mm, glamorous, right. A prosecutor should be cool of wit and fruit of bro. <laughs> like Edgeworth. <laughs> Less glimmerous and more simmerous, you know? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Actually, I, I don't. <laughs> well, that and what happened seven years ago? Prosecutor Gavin was the one who stripped Mr. Wright of his attorney's badge. <gasps> Lore! What? Really? He was the one? You mean, you didn't know? I thought you were one of his boys. I'm neither a boy nor one of his, but let's see what she has to say. Uh, what exactly happened seven years ago? I never actually heard the details. Then investigate. It's better you learn it for yourself anyway. Boo, denied. Do you mind me asking exactly what it is you've been doing? Squatting down on the ground like that? <laughs> oh, you wanna know? Do you? Well, I splurged on a new toy. You splurged? You mean it wasn't police issue? <laughs> what is it? I see a roller and glue? This is a footprint analysis kit. Footprint? It was raining on the night of the murder, which means that footprints were left. Oh, and does that have anything to do with those blue tarps? Right, and the ground was muddy, so I had to protect it as it was that night. Never wanted to know exactly where someone was standing. Like your panty snatching student witness, for instance. Aha! So with that kit! Want to try this stuff out? Huh? Are you sure? We're sort of an opposing team and all. No, oh, Shy, you're friends. And to tell the truth, I'm not so good at doing this. Oh, my coffee's gonna be here soon. I guess I'm a little clumsy. I could use your help. Oh, I'm good at stuff like this. I used to make magic bunnies out of paper mache. Footprint analysis, huh? Well, should I give it a go? Hell yeah, I'll give it a go. That's the spirit. Right, allow me to explain. <clears throat> One moment. She's reading the instructions for her kid. Why does this not fill me with confidence? <laughs> All right. First, we have to pick the footprint, or in this case, shoe print we want to analyze. 
I've taken the liberty of marking all the shoe prints in the park. Well, which shoe print should we start with? If we're going to verify the defendant's account, here's the place to start. Shoe prints, prepare to be examined. Ooh, this is so exciting. Right, here goes. First, pour the plaster into the print until it's full. You try it. How am I supposed to do that? Just press A where you want to pour the plaster. Like this. Ooh, that doesn't look too hard. If you run out of plaster in your beaker before you're done, you have to start over. <gasps> Not bad! You're handier with that than you look. What's that supposed to mean? On to the next step. Uh, dry the plaster until it turns white. Right. This print... <laughs> there. Give it a shot. Gets hardened nicely. Let's take a look. Wait, there's still more! Huh. Feet. Mm, yes, that's a good one. Next, the ink. Ready for the next set? What? <laughs> this, got, this got no business being so fun. Use the roller to ink just the shoe print part. Hold onto that roller tight now with ink and roll it up and down. Keep going till you get enough ink on there for a good print. Now the moments you've all been waiting for. Let's take our print. Ready? Here goes. Bump. Ooh. Wait, what's he stepping on? He's probably... What is he stepping on? Gum? Hold on. My... She wearing high heels, fancy girl. The heck? Fancy high heels. Though his shoes are custom made. Good to know. Stickler is not like that. Plum shoes doesn't look like that. Walkie talkie shoes. Okay, I want to see the other people's shoes though. Oh, he's wearing like a geta, I think. Palmractis is shoe. Guy L. Dune has noodle print. Okay. It's a uh, walkie is here, basically. Alright. <sighs> so the shoe prints belong to Walkie Talkie after all. I was in the park on the night of the crime. Wow, I can almost see the signs at work. Don't you love it? Ah, <sighs> nothing feels better. She's definitely way more into this than I am. Just let me know if you want to do some more. Yes, I do! I want to do some more! I'll be here solving the case with science. Well, that certainly brightened her mood. Footprint analysis! Right on! 
on. Leave the print unanalyzed, I say. Now, which print you want to analyze? Oh, maybe this one. One year, Black Bear! Yes! Okay, looking good! <laughs> yes, looking good! <laughs> Next, to dry the plaster. Hmm, <laughs> 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 what a unique plaster cast. <laughs> so unique. Interesting. <laughs> Yum. This coffee is pretty good. Okay, let's take out the mold! Yay! Ah! Mm, yes, that's a good one. On a nail. <laughs> so these shoe prints belong to Wesley Stickler. This confirms his testimony, the final version of it, at least. Now we know where the Penny Snatcher was sending. Let's do it. I believe you're beginning to appreciate the wonder that is forensic science. Now what is this? No, I need to retry. What are you doing? Out of plaster already? Give me a break. I'm just a beginner. I'm not that far ahead of you. Believe me. Fine. I'll make another batch. Don't mess it up this time. Okay, I'm sorry. Sorry for wasting your plaster. Yes, perfect. To dry the plaster. <laughs> nice, perfect. And <laughs> Yes, that's a good one. Next, the ink. 
Ni Shepa. Is this Mr. Huh. Looks like Mr. Gavin's shoes, but I don't know. Might be someone else. Not even a shoe. It's strange, so smooth. Except for the part with the leaf. I can't say without even looking at this print doesn't match any print of our list. A mystery print. See? Is this one? Ah, the slippers. That's quite a clear print there. Toe print. Too bad we don't know whose toe it is. Mm, well, there is a way of finding out, of course. There is? What? All you need is a sample of the same toe print off another shoe, for instance. Hmm, right. So if the prints match, you know the same person wore both. We got no toe database. Do we have another shoe worn by the same person? Not yet. Hmm... It was too much to hope for, I suppose. Let me know if you find something. Toe print sample. Hmm. Okay then, let's move first. It's time to hunt some feet! Maybe something in the garage. Nothing in the garage. Meow. Hey, you kitty cat! Cheer, kitty kitty! It's not coming down. You do look kind of sus, you have to admit. It's okay, kitty cat. His hair won't hurt you. It's okay, kitty cat. She won't make you disappear in her hat. <laughs> uh. How are we gonna get any shoes? How are we gonna get any shoes? Oh, the prodigal attorney returns. Welcome, Apollo. I heard you did well in the trial today. Here to discuss something? I could use a little diversion. What did Detective Sky say? If you want to know something, you have to investigate it yourself. Mr. Wright! Tell me what happened seven years ago. Please? I want to know. I need to know. You certainly didn't waste any time getting to the point. <gasps> Why scary music? Seven years ago, I was standing in a courtroom on behalf of a client. The case is involved in the death of a certain magnificent genius. I'd be surprised if you hadn't heard about it. It was all over the news. I remember that. Well, I don't, so tell me. You were up against Prosecutor Gavin, weren't you? Yes, he was only 17 years old at the time. 17 years old? That's the high school. He took the bar exam abroad, in Europe. They're progressive over there, you know? I was defeated by a 17-year-old newcomer. In my shame, I left the practice forever. That's all. That's all? How could that be all? What do you mean? What about what they were saying on the news about forged evidence? They said you forged evidence and had your attorney's badge stripped from you. Hmm, what about it? What about it? Tell me, how does it feel? How does it feel to stand here before Phoenix Wright, the forging attorney himself? 
How does it feel? I don't want to believe it's true. What about what happened in my first trial? Didn't you notice in today's trial? There was a single piece of forged evidence. I'm talking about evidence that shouldn't have existed. A naughty magician's trick. <laughs> I don't see you jumping to my defense on this one. Maybe I did forge evidence. Maybe I didn't. It doesn't really matter now, does it? But, 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 but. I'm not an attorney anymore. That's the only truth you need to know. Mr. Wright. Looks like he doesn't want to talk about the accusations of forgery. For now. Right. It's refreshing to be so thoroughly ignored for a change. He's gonna ignore everything, huh? He doesn't care. And we found these, too! They're trucies! Thanks, Apollo. Though, I have to admit, as a father... I wonder... Why are you still carrying my daughter's panties around in your pocket? Ugh, that'll teach me to show off my evidence to Mr. Wright. <laughs> Damn. Okay, sir. Ah, so that was what led you to the guilty party. Yeah, thanks to you ripping the mirror off the car, I was able to deduce the... You make a good point, Apollo. In fact, it could be said that I'm to thank for finding the criminal. What? Think what you want, Mr. Wright. Knock yourself out. Yeah, he's like legit weird. I don't know. He he's just he's he's a weirdo. I don't know. Anyways, let's move. Let's move. Bye. So, Emma! Emma, it's all to write. Oh, mystery print. Let's go. The print is far too smooth to be from a regular shoe. It is a shoe print of some kind, though, that's certain. Still, you have to wonder what it's doing here. It's right next to the Eldon's noodle stand! It does make one wonder. Hey, you! Yeah? Why are you so quiet all of a sudden? You wouldn't happen to have something in mind? Something that might have left this mystery shoe print? This mystery shoe print does remind me of something. I'm pretty sure I've seen something that would leave a print like that. You know, I think I have our culprit right here. Oh my god, that's loud. Well, I think it's these slippers, actually. Slippers? What would slippers be doing out here? But look at the bottom, see? Oh, it's covered with paint! Except for... See? Right here? Hey! That spot is shaped like a leaf! What if a leaf was stuck on the bottom and came off when the slipper stepped in paint? It makes sense, doesn't it? Wait, something's written on them. The Maractus Clinic! Exactly! The Victim's Clinic! Wait, that means... That someone from the clinic was involved? Why is she just standing there eating? Uh, Detective Sky, I have a favor to ask. What? Can you get us access to the Maractus Clinic? Police won't let us in. They say the murder and the clinic are not connected. And it's off limits until we prove they are. I should be able to do something for you, yes. Eh, really? Well, they did my work for me here with the shoe prints. Seems like I should return the favor. Thank you, Detective Sky. Here, show this to the police officer on duty. Yay! Uh, 
allow clinic access to this magician and attorney in prosecutor Gavin's name? <laughs> right, Ractus Clinic. Uh, here comes justice. <laughs> okay, it seems legit. Awesome. Anyways, I'm head out. It's Maractus time. Wait, so, um... If this is, like, pain, they have to be somewhere around here, huh? Or not. I don't know. Well, let's see. Ah, you two again. When... Oh, when will you learn? Look at me however you want. You're not getting in today. I wouldn't be so sure if I were you. Look what we have. What's this? <gasps> Detective Sky! Yesterday, he was Prosecutor Gavin. Today, is Detective Sky. Who are you two? Really? Now he's suspicious again. Well, you got the orders. I gotta let you in. Have fun. Mmm. Thanks, Mr. Officer. Let's hit it, Apollo. Let's hit it. Alright, let's go to Maractus Clinic. Please give hearts. Oh my god, look, the fish looks so feral. Oh, look, whose shoes? Um, There's, like, shoes. Oh, god. Anyways, I'm, I have a feeling it's Alita. It's Alita's shoe. It's, it's, um, well, there's a shoe, basically. This place is a connection to the murder in the park. Their shoes, like, they're, they're, like... Ugh. This is hard. Oh, well. There's bowls! The police guy out from wasn't so sure. Beyond doing where the victim lived. Looks like the police team's gone home for the day. There might be some clues lying around. Sorry guys, well, I'm gonna show you. I'm actually gonna show you because uh, it's driving me crazy. Look. Look. There. Let's get cracking, Apollo! Here. There's a single pair of sandals here. Wait, but why would there be sandals here? Unless they belong to one of the patients. Or maybe it's a visitor that's come to see Dr. Maractus. I think they use his house entrance instead of his clinic entrance in that case. And if this patient or visitor still isn't here... Why'd they leave without their shoes? Better take a closer look at these, just in case. Cute women's sandals. Mmm, let's take a look at the cute women's sandals. No, <sniffs> what? Hey, Apollo, you think this is... Huh, this could be a toe print. Maybe we can get a print off of this. Let's try it out. It worked! That looks like a big toe, maybe? But wait! I mean, it's great that we got the print, but is there such a thing as a list of toe prints? Oh, good point. If there is, Detective Sky didn't give it to us. Which means we can't match this print. This seems like a good time to ask the detective's advice. Yeah, good idea. Well, let's see other stuff. Look at all these bowls. They're from Eldu's Noodles. There's Mr. Salty. Then, I think we figured something out. I think we have. Mr. Eldun must do take out! <laughs> uh, not exactly what I was thinking. We were sniffing for uh, clues, yeah. Obviously. All the bowls have been washed clean. I think we found our first clue, Trucy. Hmm. The clinic reception desk. No one's here, of course. There's a small sign on the counter. Please pay your bill. Remember, we're the ones holding the scalpel. <laughs> what? Brutal. Effective. 
fish. What do you mean the fish has no clues? These must be the slippers for patients at the clinic. The same as the pair we found, of course. Look, a single pair is missing from the rack here too. And ours have a paint on the bottoms. Which means they were taken out of here on the night of the murder. Right? The paint's from the hit and run after all. But what were a pair of clinic slippers doing in the trash can? And what were they doing at the scene of the hit and run? Right... Look! This door says doctor's office! Think this is the victim's private office? It's not locked. Too bad. Why too bad? I like opening locks. It's kind of a hobby of mine. Yo, this girl dangerous! Like those little bike locks? Don't even bother putting them on when I'm around. <laughs> And that's probably not a hobby you want to tell too many people about. Uh, uh, Apollo! That sound! It came from behind this door! Someone's in there! Let's check it out, Trucy! Oh, break in! They left through that window! Wait, Apollo! You're too late to catch them now! It must be her experience as a panty snatcher chaser talking. Well, we should tell the police. Let's check the room out first, Apollo. If we call the police now, we'll lose our chance. You're right. She's better at this than I am. Well, one thing's for certain. This clinic and our murder case are looking pretty related now. Uh... The freaker... What the... Eh? What are those? The wall is covered with beakers. Eh? Something's moving inside that one. You, you look, Apollo! Hey, look yourself! You can't... Oh. It's a goldfish. Wow, they're all fish! So many kinds! Whoever designed this has a sick sense of humor. <laughs> uh, what a cute little safe! Mm, looks like a four-digit lock. Oh my god, fingerprint, fingerprint, fingerprint! Seven, nine... Someone's already entered in two numbers, Apollo. Seven, do you think... That burglar just now was trying to open it? I wonder what's inside the safe. Is there any way we can figure out the last two numbers? Well, if we know the first two are seven and nine. Maybe there's something in the core record? Something that can help us figure out the last two numbers. I wonder if that's just a thing. I knew it, Apollo. What is it? Well, all we have to know is what buttons have been pressed. We can use this to find out what the next two numbers are. Uh, it's a... Uh, this, this, this. When you press the buttons, you'd have to touch them... With your finger, right? It would leave a print. When you open a safe, you don't press any of the buttons on but the right ones, right? So, if we can find the buttons with fingerprints... We'll have a safe code! Uh, not bad, Apollo. I love how, like, when you press, like, it kind of bounces a little bit, you know? The thingy kind of bounces a bit. <laughs> Let's cover everything. I'm kind of feeling artistic today. <laughs> I'm feeling a little artistic. <laughs> it's Emma's, it's whatever. <laughs> My artistic vision is really coming together. Love it. Oh my goodness. A modern masterpiece. <laughs> Whoa, so fast! <laughs> Whoa, so fast! Ooh, maybe they, you know, like a blower machine. <laughs> Look, you can see the oily finger residues clearly. Two five. It's either seven nine five two.
Look at seven and nine. These are glove marks. The burglar must have been wearing gloves. Well, we might not be able to identify the burglar, but we can open the safe. Let's give it a shot. Oh, eat it. It opened. <gasps> a bullet! This looks like a medical chart. There's an x-ray in here with a, 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 a bullet. An x-ray? Mm, can't make heads or tails of it. And I can't read the chart either. It's on the medical speak. But the names are easy enough to read. Look, by patient it says walkie talkie. So this is walkie, our client's chart, huh? There's <laughs> a cast holding cash, exactly. Why would this one chart be here in the safe? Let's see, the physician's signature says palmractus. What is it, Apollo? Look here where it says who filed the chart. Alita Tiala? No. Oh no! What? Okay. Alita Tialita? Wait, I thought that's I thought her name is Alita Tiala, not Tia Tialita. It's Waki's fiance. That that's one Ita too many, Apollo Lo. Now we know where they met. Yeah. Never mind that. What's your name doing here? How should I know? So, I guess it means she's on staff at this clinic? Odd that she neglected to mention this before now. I'm sure she had her reasons. So, Alita Tiala worked at the Maractus Clinic. And she had access to Walkie Kataki's medical chart. You got the INY wrong, Apollo! <laughs> I'd be very interested to find out what this chart says. Who could help us decipher this? <laughs> yeah, the hospital has like a, the maniki neko. <gasps> Holding cash. What's it say though? And let's see what this bullet is. This looks like a bullet hole. You can still see the bullet sticking out of it. Well, maybe she's like a fake nurse or something. Why is it in the middle of the safe? Hey, the bullet came out. The tip is all squished. Not surprising given that it was fired into a metal safe. This bullet's got a story behind it, that's for sure. <gasps> maybe it matches the, the pistol that we have. What are the chances, though? Oh, okay. Let's actually check this out. Wow, it's all mushed. That was one tough safe. You know, it looks kind of yummy. Huh? Like ice cream. Mm -mm, caramel. You certainly have an active imagination, Trucy. Mm. Okay. Four nine four six four nine. <laughs> Yoroshiku, Palmractus, Walkie Talkie, Alita Tiala, Wait M, um, Bullet Lodge near Heart. Yeah. H nineteen. <laughs> What's twenty seven? Me okay? Doesn't doesn't it doesn't matter. Okay. Books and papers are scattered around the room. Wow, what a mess. This is worse than Daddy's room. <laughs> the burglar must have left in a hurry. Even the cup on the desk here is lying on its side. Huh, the juice that spilled out of that cup. It's dry. What? So... The messy one wasn't our burglar just now. Someone knocked this cup over a while ago and left it. Hmm, okay, interesting. 
Not even the burglar. What about this one? So weird. Kind of an expensive looking lamp, isn't it? Yes. Hey! The bulb's broken! <laughs> okay, broken? Don't you mean burnt out? No, our cat burglar must have dropped it. But why is it standing up on the floor like that then? In JP, walking on Lita's names are Kitaka Takita and Nami Nami Nami. <laughs> Yo, what if she's like in the rival in the rival family? Ew. But maybe not. That's too far probably. But why is it standing up on the floor like that then? Hey, look at the cord. Huh? There's a red splotch on the part of the cord. You think that's blood? Ooh. There's drinks. Whoa, what is this? This part of plant has seen better days. Hmm, that doesn't make sense either. What doesn't? Normally, burglars are looking for valuables, right? That's true. That's what I would do if I were a burglar. So why look under a pot of plant? Oh, he's looking for something else, I guess. Maybe they were looking for the key to the safe? I've heard of people putting their house keys on their plants, but the key to a safe? Hmm... Maybe the burglar was looking for the house keys. This is getting nowhere fast. You the window is ajar. That must be how our burglar escaped. I wonder who he was. Maybe it was just the burglar who happened to pick here. Yeah, but there's a patrol car sitting out front. If I were a burglar, I'd come back the next day at least. I'd give it a month. I myself. Never broken, obviously needed to break in today. Alright. Well, are we I mean we might be done with this uh, place. Uh, but I'm gonna check out this The bulb is broken, it won't turn on. Oh, how is it broken? Don't touch that. You'll cut yourself. Ow! Yeah, yeah, fool me once, shame on me, fool me twice. My finger! Oh, you're bleeding! Let me see that. Wait. Magic blood! <laughs> gotcha! Please don't do that again. I have enough to worry about without my co-workers injuring themselves on the evidence. Right. Um. Okay, so about the red splotch. Oh, one This cord runs to the lamp. It has a red stain on it. Gotta wonder what's left th what left that stain. Wait, I know. Maybe it was left there by a red marker. Like they were trying to write their name and slipped. Why would anyone write their name on a lamp cord? I used to write my name on my magic ropes. Okay, there anything else? Um nope, doesn't look like it. Alright. Okay, maybe it's time to go back. It's time to go back. No BGM makes it so quiet. Yo, Emma, we found shoes. I know that face. That's the face of someone who's made. A discovery! Hey, how'd you know? You can't fool someone trained in the ways of science. They should have us analyzing face prints. Let's, uh, let's ask Detective Sky to help us, Apollo. Alright, let's... Um, these sandals. That's quite a clear print there. A toe print. Too bad we don't know whose toe it is. Well, there is a way of finding out, of course. There is? What? All you need is a sample of the same toe print Off another shoe, for instance Oh, right So if the prints match, you'd know the same person wore both hm. Do I have another shoe worn by the same person? Yeah, I can Yeah, maybe I'm beginning to suspect something here Detective Scott, can you compare these samples with these of this other print? Yes Okay, hold on this Take that! 
This pair of slippers, toe print and all. Ooh, the print on these is nice and clear too. That makes our job easy. Can you analyze it for us? Of course. Hang on. Bingo. Gosh, I'm good. Hey, we were the ones who found the prints. A perfect match. Same person wore these sandals and slippers. What she doing in the crime scene, huh? I was afraid of that. All you have to do is find out who these sandals belong to. Or do you already know? I can't say. Not yet. Well, that's one big step closer. To the truth. Um, I'm gonna... Uh, is there anything to talk about? No. I'm gonna go to the detention center. Maybe, like, ask... Um, maybe ask Waki if this is uh, Alita's... Don't cry, Angel. Daddy's back and daddy's... Oh. You again. Do you always have to announce your entrances like that? Man, my old man, he... Man! Now I'm all in a funk, and it's his fault. One can only assume that his father tried to teach him a lesson. And failed. Clearly. You two got your work cut out for you straight up. Of course I don't care if they lock me up. I'm ready to go. Some days, I wonder why I do what I do. <laughs> I... Um... Oh, sorry. Man, that is so far off the hook, it's off the chain, G. He seems preoccupied with something else. Wonder how my Alita's doing. Man, I miss her. Speaking of Alita... Waki? You don't happen to recognize these, do you? Hey, sure I do. I was the one who bought them for her. For Miss Tiala? Yeah, a birthday present. She's got mad little feet. Mad. So cute, man. So these sandals are hers. Yeah, I kind of had a feeling. What's up with the funky vibes? <sighs> <laughs> right. Hey man, you don't see me bugging about one or two guilty charges. But what if you're found guilty of murder? Hey, it's all experience, you feel me, shoddy? Like a badge of honor. They don't give the death penalty, do they? Uh, you didn't really do it, did you? Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. If I've learned one thing today, it's that silence speaks louder than words. Man, my old man is whack. Disappointing. That's what he is. I heard he wants to leave the mob. Over my dead body. I spent my life trying to keep it real, being an OG and never stepping down. Now my old man wants to go soft. Fine, let him. Just leave me out of it. <sighs> the day I get out of the clink, that's the day Alita and I start the next generation of the Kotaki family. Please don't talk as though it's assumed you're going to jail. For my sake. Right. Anything else? Okay. What about these? What about your charge? Oh, huh? what's that? Some kind of x-ray? Wait. That's right. Walkie, it's yours. Hey, look. I don't smoke or nothing. I'll live long, right? I don't think he gets it, Apollo. Uh, take a closer look. Uh, here in particular. Where it says, Nurse. It's signed, Alita Tiala. Ah, oh, you lawyers do your homework. So, you met Miss Tiala when you... Yeah, I met her at the clinic. So? Could you tell us a bit about your circumstances of your meeting? Fine, fine. I'll tell you how we met if you want to know that bad. Nice, alright. Arr! About a half a year ago, I was shot during a little turf war with another family. I was ready to die, sure. But they came in and got me. Hauled me off to the docks. The Maractis Clinic. That's where I met her. 
My fallen angel! You mean Alita Tiala? She was scared of me at first, turns out. But you know what they say. The bad guy always gets the ladies. <laughs> uh, so is she sure? Right. She was done with that clinic anyhow. So I was like, I'll take you on, woman. Straight gangster style. Guess what she said. What did she say? Come on, give it some thought. She said it real quiet like, on the down low. Know what I'm saying? I'll leave. If you'll marry me. So, that was the proposal? You know it! A note of love right there in the hospital room! Just like that, the op was done, and we were out of there! See you later! Bye! Uh, about that op... Yeah, didn't go so well after all, did it? I know about the report, I know it's still in me! <laughs> this health checkup was the boss's idea, you said? Yeah, can you imagine? What's the point of living healthy when you're a G? You know what I'm saying? But didn't you learn about the blood at the checkup? Yeah... That's when I knew that doctor had to pay. Figured I could get that cap pulled after I got my revenge. And hey, I'm still living large now, aren't I? Incidentally, had you ever had a health checkup before? Now, my old man suddenly gets this idea that we all gotta get checkups. Guess it's getting old. Holder, I mean. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Interesting. Are we done? We might be done. Alright then. Ah, let's go. Mr. Eldoon! We've been looking all over for you. What's the matter, Trucy doll? Apollo, show him what he found. Nothing like expert advice. I suppose he's a doctor still. Is everything okay? I'm just so happy. I just thought my doctor days were gone for good. Mr. Eldoon. I saw up in chat and did So long. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyways, look at this, Doc. Could you take a look at this? Huh? A medical chart? Hey, you shouldn't go around taking these from clinics. Why the sudden silence, Mr. Eldoon? What? What's going on here? That's what we want to know! The chart belongs to my client. He's on trial. On suspicion of murder. On trial? That's crazy! You can't put him on trial! He's ABD! What's ABD? What? ABD? All but dead. He's knocking on the pearly gates and someone's about to answer. <laughs> oh, damn. He dying. C can you tell us why? <gasps> Whoa, it's a wig! <laughs> Well, permit me to speak as a surgeon. You listen up good now, son. No way. It's like he's a completely different person. Shh. Well, according to this chart, this walkie-talkie fella is not doing so well. He's got a bullet right upside his heart. Uh, that's right. Yeah, but this chart talks about the post-op. In other words, the operation is already finished. But you can still see that the bullet's stuck in there. Why would it still be in there after the operation to remove it? Well, about the only reason I can think of is... It was too tricky to operate on. What? That bullet's snug as a bug there right next to the aorta. Which is connected to the heart. Heck, that scrap of metal's just surrounded by blood vessels. 
kind of a miracle. Two millimeters to either side and there'd be some serious bleeding going on in there. Not something your average dog will be eager to fiddle with. You mean... It took a miracle to get that bullet stuck where it is. I'd take more... It would take more than a miracle to take it out. It would take a magician. Oh, we're a magician. Um, I'm only up to making rabbits disappear. I haven't learned bullets yet. Of course, with the heart pumping and lungs working, that bullet's on the move. Oh, so it'll sl it's just like a ticking time bomb, you know? Like, you're safe now, but it's like slowly, 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 slowly moving. And then... He can die. I'd give him another half a year, tops. But Waki's operation was already a half a year- ah! It was half a year ago! That's why I'm saying, you're out of time. This kid shouldn't be on trial. He should be on an operating table. Great, just great. How could Dr. Maractus do such a terrible thing? How could he just leave that bullet in there? I got a pretty good idea of how he felt. In the emergency operation, he's got the kid's chest open on the table. And he finds that bullet. That's despair right there, Trucy doll. Cold despair. Despair. About the only thing he could do is sew the boy back up. He wasn't exactly in the situation to go admitting he couldn't take it out. The Katakis? You bet. There's kids their only son, I hear. So, he skips the operation and walks back on the street living his life. Of course, it's only a matter of time before his heart hemorrhage and he drops cold. How awful. And which doctor would they take him to? Maractus. He's got enough ties to them. He could probably cover up the truth of what happened. That's just horrible! He left Vaki to die! There's a darkness in this world, Trucy doll. Waiting. Hungry. Compared to it, these gangster turf wars are like kids' games. When you're up against real evil... Well, it don't matter if you're weak or strong. It'll take you all the same. Damn. You were a surgeon, right, Mr. Eldoon? You could operate on Waki, couldn't you? I wish. <gasps> what? I'm afraid there ain't nobody in the country that could. Maybe not even in the world. So, so Waki. He's real lucky to be alive even now. No. There's one problem. Apollo? This chart. Look at the nurse section. Alita Tiala. That's right. This operation was how they met. Yeah, the problem is, she knew. She knew about Walkie's condition, guaranteed. <gasps> Why didn't she ever tell him? It doesn't make sense. If she knew her patient was in serious danger, You'd think she'd wanted to get that second operation before getting engaged. Well, you know, well, Apollo, some people are just... Uh, they, they, they think differently, okay? Let's just say that. What was she thinking? Apollo? What were you thinking, Alita Tiala? <laughs> everybody, everybody in this room is so pure. They're like, how could this be? Doesn't make sense. What were you thinking? This is it. The big day. Did you get any sleep? Yeah, I went to bed at 1am or so. Oh, what time did you wake up? 3am. That's only two hours, Apollo. But at least you have me. Oh. And the amazing Mr. Hat. Here's looking at you, kid. Good luck today, Apollo. That voice. Oh. <gasps> Hey, uh, get any sleep? Uh, Mr. Wright! Uh, I was going out of my mind with boredom, so I signed myself out earlier today. Somehow, that place makes fake piano playing at the Indochine pasta joint seem almost fun. Daddy! Do you know who Prosecutor Gavin's witness is today? Eh, take a guess. 
the girl? Hmm, how about a little plum? Ha 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 ha, that Sherman tank of a mom. Nope, I guess again. That's too bad. You know, speaking of moms, I need to find me a new mommy one of these days, Daddy. It's barely morning and you're at it already, Trucy. <laughs> okay, see, this is why I don't buy their father-daughter relationship. So, Mr. Wright, do you know who the prosecution's witness is? Alita Tiala, your client's fiancé. Is going to be a witness? That's crazy! That seems odd. Why would she testify against her own fiancé, yeah? You have to wonder what Gavin's up to. Something's going down today. That much is clear. Ah! Uh, well, not to worry. I've got my panties back. If we can't find a killer, I'll pull one out of there. <laughs> Man. Ah, uh, okay. Court is now in session for the trial of Walkie Kataki. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Oh, yes, I missed this trial animation. Prosecution is warmed up and it's a sold out house. Very well. To recap, while yesterday's witness seemed more guilty than any other party, guilty of panty snatching, we did find out one thing for certain. There were three people in the park at the time of the murder. No, there were four! The witness, the victim, and the defendant. Correct, Herr Judge. And today, I'd like to do something a little new age. I'd like to look at this horrible crime from the outside. Uh, the outside? The acquisition of the murder weapon, the preparation for the act. Our poor defendant told all, you see? To his betrothed. His betrothed? His fiance, the judge, uh, his partner for life, which no, with no chance for parole. Very well, you may show the uh, lucky lady to the stand. Oh, okay. Your name and occupation, Fruline. How do you say? How do you pronounce this again? I forgot. Alita Tiala, Fruline. Yeah. My occupation is future wife. Ah, traditional values. I respect that. Too many brides these days can't even weave baskets blindfolded underwater. Yet you're here today as a witness for the prosecutions. To be honest, I didn't want to testify at first. But I couldn't hide the truth. Eh, disgusting. Another admirable trite. Fräulein, is that true that on the day of the crime, the defendant, Wokikotaki, confessed his plans? His plans for murder? Yes. The witness will please give her testimony to the court. Anjing Ujlek. Walkie's plan. It was the day that the family health checkup results came back. When Walkie found out that Dr. Maractus had lied, he flew into a rage. I'll teach him, he said. He took one of the family's pistols. And you already know what happened that night. I just don't see how anyone but Walkie could have done it. So the pistol did belong to the Kataki family then. Yes, with regard to this, an investigation is underway at the Kataki Mansion. On charges of the possession of illegal firearms. And the bullet that took the victim's life, was it... Fired from the pistol the defendant procured? Yes, this has been proven. How can you prove something like that? Well, let's carry marks from the barrel that fired them, called rifling marks. Rifling marks... Think of them as being a gun's fingerprint left on every bullet it fires. And when did you first hear about Walkie's plan? It was the day of the murder. I... I should have stopped him! I just didn't think he would actually do it. 
Right. Very well. The defense may begin the cross-examination. That was the day of the murder, correct? Yes, everyone in the family received their checkup results that day. When Rocky looked at his, his face went so pale. But of course, he had just found out he had a bullet in his chest. So, you were there at the time? Yes, poor Rocky. That must have been uh, quite frightening. He was furious. He ripped this report up into shreds. Incidentally, I had to request another copy to file as evidence. A bothersome chore, but one I perform without complaint. Walk is at an age where he is hard to control when he loses his temper. Of course, that little bit of instability is so cute. Great, now he sounds like a psychopath. I'll teach him, he said. He took one of the family pistols. So, was it easy to take a pistol out of the house? Not really, I think. There's a system in place to limit access. The walk is a special case, being the next in line. Perhaps his treatment was a bit too special, yeah? Well, maybe he is a bit spoiled. I hear he got amazing presents for his birthdays. Last year was a switchblade made out of chewing gum and a chocolate gravestone. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Sounds like he has a taste for sweets and danger. The point here being that Woggy had access to a pistol. I want a chocolate gravestone. And you already know what happened that night. No, I didn't. What happened? Meaning the murder. I tried to stop him. I really did. The walk he wouldn't listen. Our defendant was nothing if not determined, it seems. The last thing you should do is blame yourself, miss. I just don't see how anyone but Walkie could have done it. You! Moment. How can you say that for certain? How? Objection. Hair forehead, you will refrain from badgering the Fräulein. Badgering the witness again. Oh my god. It was the defendant, uh, Walkie, was it, who took his pistol from his home. We know this for a fact now. I suppose we do. So, how could anyone else have used this pistol to shoot the victim? They could not. Simple logic, yeah? That does seem to be the case. Does the defense have anything to say regarding this point? Someone else have used that pistol? No, uh, let's bluff. There was another. Based on your testimony, there was clearly another. One other person had access to their pistol. What's this? Hmm, interesting. Let's ask the defense then. Tell the court who this other person with access was. Um, I forgot the testimony, so I'm gonna check the history actually. Uh, something about, uh... Yes, final heart. He flew into a rage. Yes, I'll teach you. It took one of the family pistols. You already know what happened that night. Um, yeah, there was a limit to the log. I'm kind of feeling... I'm kind of feeling because it's like, um... The other person with access is, is the dad, Plum, and... Whoever. The dad, Plum... I don't know if she had access. Probably not yet. Hmm... I don't know. Sorry, I wasn't really paying attention. <laughs> I know that it's not him alone. Why wouldn't she have access? Because she's not officially part of the family yet. But I guess... Um... Uh, 
Maybe her, because she can tell. I don't know, the phrasing is kind of weird. Yeah. I don't know. Take that! Let's see. Well, of course, I mean, you, Miss Tiala. Mimi? But, but why? You were quite clear when you told the court. You heard about the pistol from the defendant on the day of the murder. I mean... <laughs> In other words, you knew what he was planning. Objection! Really? Like that? Let me get this straight. You intend to tell us that this lady stole the pistol from her fiancé. And killed a man in cold blood on his behalf? I've heard of people doing strange things for love, but this... It does seem a bit... unfathomable, to be sure. I'm all for romance and for supporting your partner in life, to be sure. Well, she does have a motive to kill Maractus because, um... He's the only other person who knows about the details of the operation, you know? So, by killing Maractus, it would seal... It would basically secure everything. She doesn't have to be afraid of anything or the incident being known ever. It does make sense if she did it, but we'll see. But I think I would hesitate at murder. I'd hope you do more than hesitate. But what if it's a different what if a different connection could be proven? A connection between the witness and the victim. You might find that she had a personal motive beyond wanting to help her fiancé. Mm, that would put things in a slightly different light. What possible connection are you suggesting here? You know what I'm starting to think? I'm starting to think that the police never looked inside that safe. I have evidence showing a connection between the witness and the victim. It's this chart. That looks like... a medical chart? Found inside a safe at the Maractus Clinic. Yeah, we totally just didn't admit to breaking and entering. I like to draw the court's attention to the names written on the chart. What? Miss Tiala? Wh why is your name on this chart? She's wetting. Well, care to explain the meaning of this, Miss Tiala? I'm not sure what you mean by meaning, Mr. Justice. Oh, man, that attitude! That attitude! Hey! I was on staff at that clinic until half a year ago. It was boring, so I quit. That's all. Is there a problem with that? Damn! Miss Tiala! You testified that you had no connection to the victim. And I don't. Now. Now? I quit half a year ago, didn't I? So there's no connection. Let me guess. You're the kind of guy... ...who can't rest until he knows every last detail of his girlfriend's past. Am I right? I mean, not if he has never had any girlfriend. That's not true at all. Why? I... I embrace the ones I love. Past laws and... <sighs> there's no connection now. Doesn't fly in a court of law. Doesn't fly? She's one tough nut. She probably feels right at home with the Katakis. You left your job at the Maractus Clinic, true. But you remain connected somehow. Very well, Mr. Justice. Show us evidence that proves the witness is still connected to the Maractus Clinic. The, f the freaking slippers? I don't know, dude. <laughs> the slippers? I don't know. That's the only thing I could think of. These sandals were found in the Maractus Clinic lobby. They're yours, aren't they? Oh! Well, who knows? I'm sure there are lots of people with those sandals, but they have your toe prints, go! So sorry, Fräulein, but your act isn't working. Your moment of hesitation just now cost you. What's with you? I thought you were on my side. Perhaps you are unaware that toes leave toe prints. 
This game is catered to me, like what? A simple analysis of these sandals will reveal all. Well, now we see your true colors. I was wrong to cooperate with you from the beginning. I just wanted... I just wanted you to help get Walkie back on the straight and narrow. Discord thinks you need to worry less about Walkie and more about yourself. It sounds as though we need to hear a bit more about your story. Your sandals were found in the entrance to the clinic. Which means you went there on the day of the murder. Well, there's little point in denying it. Very well. The witness will tell us about this visit. Why did you go to the Maractus Clinic that day? <gasps> Testimony time! I did go to the clinic that day. My first time in half a year since I quit in January. I went to warn him. After all, I knew Walkie had the pistol. The doctor always was a timid man. Too timid to admit his own mistake. Why else would I have gone? I'm not hiding in dark secrets. Oh, maybe when she does this. I wanted to tell him to be careful as an old friend. When she um when she does that that thing with the hand. Okay. By mistake, you mean. The mistake we heard about from the defendant. The botched operation. He was a timid, small man, but I never wished him harm. I just thought I should let him know, you know? Eh, that does make sense. Yes, but there is still one thing which does not. Was that Prosecutor Gavin? The sandals left in a lobby, of course. We can assume she wore these sandals to the clinic, yeah? And why did she not wear them home? If it were me, I would have worn them home. I would have worn those sandals home, too. So, why were the sandals left behind? Uh, he pointed out the contradiction before me! Taking my job away! Am I even needed in the court? There's probably a good explanation for this, right, Miss Tiala? Say, for instance, there happened to be a similar pair of sandals there which you wore home by mistake. What? Actually, that's right. I'm impressed, Mr. Gavin. <gasps> oh, it's nothing. There is, after all, no other possible explanation. Yeah, forehead? Oh, what the... No fair! He's filling the holes in her testimony. The defense may begin the cross-examination. Alright. Around what time did you go to the clinic? I don't remember exactly, but it was after 9.30, I think. And that was the first time you had contacted Dr. Maractus in half a year? Of course it was. He wasn't the kind of boss you made friends with. So, why did you go to the clinic that day? I went to warn him. Did you want Dr. Maractus to run away? Well, after I failed to stop walking, I thought that was the only other way to avoid the problem. Couldn't you have called? Why go in person? I called several times that evening, but no one was in. The victim was busy driving home until after 9 p.m. that night, remember? This was proven by this mirror yesterday, yeah? I thought if I warned him, he would run away for sure. Knowing the doctor. The doctor always was a timid man. You mean that act of malpractice on Walkie, correct? If he had just told Walkie the truth in the beginning, none of this would have happened. True, that operation was the start of his whole affair. Oh, of course, if it told him, he might have been erased by the Katakis much earlier. A disturbing thought. We know that the Maractus Clinic had ties to the Kataki family. He probably couldn't have gone to the police, even if he wanted to. That's why I knew I had to warn him. Hold it! 
No dark secrets, eh? What? Look at me however you want, Mr. Justice. You won't find a thing. She's hiding something. I know it. I must have some evidence that proves it, too. You're free to think whatever you like. I went to that clinic with only one thought in mind. I wanted to tell him to be careful as an old friend. But that you'd be betraying Walkie, wouldn't you? No, I did it for him, for us! She went to warn him so that her fiancé would not have to commit such a crime, yeah? I didn't want them to take my Walkie away. There's no way she went to that clinic just to warn him. Do you know why she went, Apollo? Time to figure out what really happened at that clinic. And fast! Why else would I have gone? It's this one. Objection! You wanted to steal this. This chart was found inside a safe in the doctor's office. Yes. Why would this one chart be in that safe? Miss Tiala, you know why it was, don't you? <sighs> Man. <laughs> she kind of sucks at this. Mind filling me in? Dr. Maractus didn't have the leisure of making mistakes. That's why he wrote up a false report and kept the truth locked away. Bad hair doctor. And this is why you, where you come in, Miss Tiala. The nurse who filed this chart was you, which means... You knew about Walkie's failed operation. Interesting. You are in the same position as Dr. Maractus. Kinda makes it hard to claim no connection, doesn't it? You're bold for a novice. I'll give you that. Mr. Justice, you must know I was only a nurse. The doctor is responsible for the chart's contents. Hmm, this chart business seems to be quite important. Please amend your testimony accordingly. Too bad, little attorney. <gasps> my bracelet's reacting again. What is it, Apollo? I felt my bracelet tighten just now. Your bracelet? Just like yesterday, like you said. When a witness is unsure of something, they're nervous how it gives them away. I can see anything, Apollo. Eh? Then what's my bracelet reacting to? Wait, maybe... Yes! That has to be it! What has to be it? Your senses, Apollo. They must be sharper than mine. Huh? I can't see it, but you can sense it. I don't know about that, Trucy. I don't have some kind of special power or anything. Listen to me, Apollo. There's a weak point somewhere in Miss Tiala's testimony. We don't know what her nervous habit is. Well, then what do we do? You have to perceive it yourself, Apollo. With your eyes and your senses. And it's up to me and my bracelet. I don't know why, but the bracelet helps. Oh, I'm gonna save first. Hold on. Let's just, uh... Just a good checkpoint. Okay, there we go. Somehow, touching it helps me focus. Let's give it a shot and bring down that testimony. Mm -hmm. Why would I go to the clinic now for a half a year old child? I wanted to tell him to be careful as an old friend. There's no way she went to the clinic just to warn him. Oh, okay, it's only two. And then Walkie had the pistol. The doctor always was a timid man to boost. Why would I go to the clinic? Uh, for a half a year old child. Okay. I went for a half a year old child. I wanted to tell him to be careful as an old friend. Why would I go to the clinic? Why would I go to the clinic? I know Walkie had the pistol.
while he had the pistol. Timmy to admit his own mistake. Why would I go to the clinic now for a half-year-old chart? Except as an old friend. Mm. Hold on, give me a second. Why would I go? Yeah. We I wanna I wanna try this. Okay, nothing. Hold on, I'm gonna pass. Hold, it. Hold on. Around what time did you go? I don't remember, but it was after 9.30, I think. And that was the first time we had contacted Dr. Maractus in half a year. Was it the kind of boss you made friends with? Yeah. I wanna try this. go to the clinic for a half-year-old chart now, you ask? But you know why you would go now, don't you? I don't know what you're talking about. It was quite clear, Miss Tiala. You have a nervous habit. The moment you said the word now, you used your right thumb to fiddle with your ring. Ooh, can you even do that? <laughs> what? She was unsure. I saw it. Now, that's the keyword. The chart wasn't a part of your past. It was a clear and present threat. That's ridiculous. Why, if that were the case, I would have had six months to do something about it. Indeed. Eh? Which means something happened quite recently. Something to make that chart a problem for you now. I've got her on the ropes now, I can feel it! Time to strike the killing blow with evidence. Miss Tiala, there's no use trying to hide it. The chart became a threat to you now. Because of this. Uh, what's. Uh... Sorry, what? <laughs> Because, um... I wonder what. what the hell? Something happened recently. The health checkup, I guess. The health checkup. Checkup report belonging to the defendant. The Kitakis are trying to get out of this business. 
Yeah, so if the checkup never happened, Walkie would have like died of ooh natural causes, you know? But then the checkup happened and they could trace it back to the operation and they could find that Alita was actually involved somehow if they somehow get access to the safe. The health checkup this month was their first ever. What did you think when you heard about this? Eh? Uh, uh, nothing. Why should I think anything? Oh, I would think you were positively beside yourself. Because you were afraid. You knew what Walk's chest x-ray would reveal. Ooh. A full half year had passed since the operation. You thought you were home free? When the chart came back to haunt you. Ah! Oh my gosh. Sh Shuba Feather. Oh no, is she breaking down? That's all, your honor. <sighs> what just happened? Did the witness just admit to lying? Perjury? <gasps> I sensed it. There was a great aura emanating from her forehead. <laughs> Very cool. So... The lady was lying, it seems. That's correct. She said she had no connection to the Maractus Clinic. But her connection was deep indeed. A bit too deep. If the Katakis get a hold of this chart with her name, she'd be finished. Isn't that right, Miss Tiala? You guessed it. Damn. But we're not gonna be we're not we're not finished though. There's still way more to uncover. Order! Order! I did it! I broke her testimony! Amazing, Apollo! I didn't see it at all! Daddy was right about you! Wait! It's true, that chart was bad news for me. That's why I went to meet the doctor that day. But that's all! I told him about walking and went home. It appears this cross-examination is far from over. What? She had the truth from us. That is clear, yet... It is not clear that this truth has anything to do with the case at hand. Yeah, that we have to connect this to... And about the actual murder in People Park. What's, well, what's the deal? Mm. Very well. The witness will add this to her testimony. And we'll have a bit more cross-examination. Ugh, I was so close! You're still close! Keep on her, Apollo! Nothing happened at all. I warned him and left. Hold it. How did Dr. Maractus respond to the warning? Oh, he was quite surprised. <laughs> Panicky, even. Who wouldn't be scared to learn a Kataki was after them? Incidentally, this court is not afraid of any mobsters. Why? We had a life-threatening situation just yesterday right here in this courtroom. Yeah, real impressive the way you stood up to the attack of the amazing Mr. Hat, sir. <gasps> After which I carried you back to your chambers. Sounds like the judge had quite a fright. Nothing happened in Dr. Maractus' office that day, huh? But what about the mess we found? Something definitely happened in the office, Apollo. I know, I know. But we can't prove when it happened. Hmm. Nor that Alita Tiala was in any way involved. Well, let's try putting some evidence up anyways. Alright. There's no way she went to that clinic just to warn him. Do you know why she went, Apollo? Time to figure out what really happened at that clinic. And fast. We already know you're lying about having no reason! I know you know! Don't look at me like that! Huh? <laughs> like I'm some two-bit washed up good for nothing. You scared me! I concur. Even I am rarely treated to such a... hot gaze. Sorry. Maybe I need to do some face training too. Hold it. <laughs> 
How did Dr. Maractus respond to the warning? Oh yeah, he's panicky, blah blah blah. Did you want him to run away after I failed to stop Blocky? I thought that was the only other way to avoid the problem. Couldn't you have called Why Go in person? Oh yeah, we, we already have. Yeah, we did then. Nothing happened at all. Objection! Oh, not this? Oh, okay. I don't know what happened. Is it the bullet? If it's not the... If it's not this, then it's the bullet. Objection! Okay. You say nothing happened in the doctor's office. I disagree. Take a look at this. What's that? Looks like a squished up ball of clay. Kinda like you, actually. This bullet was found in the Maractus Clinic's office. Something did happen in that office, Miss Tatiala. Enough of this joking around. The police investigated that clinic. Objection! Ah, but this was stuck inside the doctor's safe. Inside the safe? I guess the police didn't check that far. Objection! But there is a problem. How can you say that bullet was fired on that day? Objection! Maybe we can check the rifling marks. Weren't you the one who explained rifling marks to us? The pistol was taken from the Kentucky Mansion that day. If the marks on this bullet match the murder weapon, then that proves a firearm was discharged in that office on the day of the murder. Not bad, Ed Forehead. Bailiff, have this bullet analyzed immediately. Nice. Uh, 30 minutes later, a report arrives. The rifling marks on both bullets are identical. <laughs> so fired from the same gun. Well, it seems as though the bullet in the safe was fired from the murder weapon. Perhaps the defense would like to state their position. The bullet in that safe proved once proves one fact. A pistol was fired in that office on that day. And at the time of the firing, the safe was open. The safe which contained the top secret chart. Do you think someone was threatening Dr. Maractus? In order to open the safe? Only one person was in a position to do such a thing. Our witness, Alita Tiala. Ooh! Order, order, order! Mr. Justice, where are you going with this? Are you accusing the witness? Yeah. <laughs> Alita Tiala knew about Waki Kitaki's botched operation. She got engaged to him without telling him about it. As long as that bullet remained in his chest, his days were numbered. What if she married him, and then the bullet finally reached its destination? What? That reminds me. Apparently, the Kitakis have been arrest- Asserting, sorry, not arresting. Asserting themselves in lawful business practices. They're making quite a great deal of money. A fortune, if you will. Nefarious. So she planned to marry him just to get her hands on this fortune? I guess. Oh no, it's him. You keep talking trash about my Alita. And I'll sue you, lawyer man. Uh, uh, me? Yeah, you said, you said you'd, you'd, you'd abuse my Alita! What? What? When? When did I say that? Uh, I think you meant accuse. <laughs> For what? Same difference. Well, you can't have her. She's mine. It was me. I shot the doctor. Me. He left me to die, so I left her to die too. They're in that park. Okay. 
just cool down and say, You keep your hands off my Alita for a while! T. 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 Miss Tiala? I'm sorry. I just. It's been so long since I've laughed so hard. Something funny. Walkie? Wake up and smell reality. Uh, Alita baby? The signature on the chart. The engagement. I mean, come on. It's so obvious. Even for a brainless, spoiled brat such as yourself. Alita. Your honesty is like a breath of foul air, Froyline. Hey, I wasn't getting out of this clean anyways. So, the family fortune is what you're really after. That's right. I wanted the money. No way! That's whack! I ain't trying to hear that! Should have done the wedding earlier. Oh well. By the way, can I ask you a question? Who, me? I believe you said you were going to abuse me. No! Not abuse! Accuse! Accuse. Of what crime, might I ask? Huh? Killing the guy, duh! I'm getting there, patience! Oh, I'm a bad girl, sure. I got close to that bride because I wanted his money. But he was the one with the pistol. He could have fired it into the safe after I'd already left the clinic. What? I would never do a thing like that. It was definitely that silly brat. Wait, but... What are you talking about? Petruzzi? You had the most to lose if that chart was found. But I didn't have a pistol now, did I? Well, you could have taken walkies. You'd think he'd have mentioned that, no? All I've heard him say is, It was me, I shot him. Objection! That's only because he's trying to protect you. Sorry to intrude in this lovely conversation. But the two of you are forgetting one critical point. What point? Certainly, the Froyline wanted that chart. You assume she threatened the doctor into opening that safe, but then... Wouldn't she have taken the chart? Oh... You see... That chart would have been left in that safe. Ah! He's right! Miss Tiala. Yes? It is clear to this court that you are not a very good fiancé. Oh, I'm flattered. Perhaps it's time you told us the truth. Tell us about yourself, including your actions and whereabouts on that day. Don't forget. We've proven that you were at the Maractus Clinic on the day of the crime. <laughs> okay, cool. The Maractus Clinic 2. Yes, I went to the clinic that day to speak to the doctor. I wanted that chart, but I failed to get it. So I went back to the clinic later. In any case, I didn't shoot him. You don't even have proof I stole that pistol, do you? And that brat was spotted in the park at the moment of the crime. Frankly, I don't think it matters if Dr. Maractus was shot in the temple or not. <gasps> How'd you know, you beach? You went back later? That chart was dangerous, you understand? I needed to get rid of it. That's why I went that day. But you couldn't get the chart then, could you? And later that night, Dr. Maractus was shot. I heard about the shooting, waited a day, but then I had to go back. No easy feat with the cops all over the place. Ah, th that was you? Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, Apollo, that sound, it came from behind this door. Someone's in there. Okay. A break-in! They left through that window! 
Yeah, she's the one who peed on the table. But that was from last time. So you were the burglar. That was you too? If only I had one more minute. Then I could have opened that safe and gotten the chart. What? That's trespassing. <laughs> Judge, please! And Bryson at that. Oh, is this a trial for trespassing now? Besides, you can't blame a girl for wanting to protect herself. They are gangsters, you know. Uh, in any case, Mr. Justice, your cross-examination. Admitting the little crime to avoid the big one, eh? How'd you know? The doctor was shot in the right temple, yes? So it seems. Oh, so it seems, huh? Let's review the facts again, shall we? If the killer shot from this location, the bullet would have struck our victim square in the forehead. Shot in the right temple, yeah? However, the entry wound was in the right temple. Yes, we heard testimony on this yesterday. Uh-huh. At the time of the shooting, the witness was standing here. Mm-hmm. Just before the gun was fired, he shouted. The victim turned his head to look and was shot. Was she inside the cart? <laughs> <laughs> that's why there's um that's why there's like bowls <laughs> that's why there's like bowls of noodles uh empty is because she's inside the car and she shot <laughs> but why i don't even know wait hold on <laughs> wait, hold on no, wait i forgot about the autops autopsy report was it left temple oh no it's right temple But that testimony was proven to be a lie. No, cause remember, like, why is there, um, why is there, why is the noodle, um, uh, what, pancinya gitu loh? What is the the container? The container where you keep the broth and whatever is in the clinic, and the bowls are also in the clinic. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So I think the plan was um if she was inside then um it was supposed to be like shot from the back or something but then he turned to the right and got pew. Why was she inside? I don't care. It doesn't matter. <laughs> If Mr. Stickler shouted from this location, the bullet couldn't hit his right temple. The better question is why the victim stole the sand. Well, we'll, we'll get to it soon. Silly, silly attorney. What? Do you remember what you had for breakfast that morning? I didn't eat. Do you remember, Trucy? I always have a glass of milk for breakfast. Play <laughs> how that's actually possible. <laughs> See, it's always the silliest thing happening at AA, you know? What matters is one thing. The doctor was shot in his right temple. If that's the case, there can only be one explanation. The panties guy was mistaken. But his location was proven. You can't write that off as him being mistaken. Objection. Then why don't you show us, hair forehead? Show you what? Must I explain everything? Very well, let's recap. If the witness panties guy was standing to the north, 
Then where was the shooter standing? From what location did the killer shoot the victim? Oh no, here it comes! If the witness was standing there, how could anyone shoot the victim in the right temple? Oh my god, okay, I'm just... Um, okay, let, let's, see if it, uh, let's see if I'm a little bit silly in the head or I'm actually correct. I merely laid out the facts for us. It is up to the one possessing the shiny forehead to show us... If you can, that is. Walkie Kataki was standing at the killer mark. Wesley Stickler at the witness mark. And of course, Palm Rathus was at the victim mark. <laughs> Let's hear what the defense has to say. Where was the kill? Almost someplace else. As the facts stand now, we can't explain this crime. Without contradicting ourselves at some point. But I know why. <gasps> oh my god! Remember the foot remember the footprint map? Like there was one footsteps? That was her going out of the cart <laughs> <laughs> Or something like that. The position was so weird. It was facing outwards. Yeah, the real killer shot from an entirely different location. What are you talking about? I don't see any other place. Apparently, Mr. Justice does. Let's hear it. Where in the park did the killer shoot the victim from? Attention. Oh my god. It's time to raise the roof and the stakes. <laughs> Penalties are such frightening things, don't you think? But what if they were a bit more terrifying? Okay, like so. The double penalty! Hair forehead wishes to take us in a new direction. Then he must be ready for the challenges ahead. <laughs> Challenge accepted. It's just his time. Are you sure, Apollo? The key is the witness, Mr. Stickler's testimony. If we believe that and we know where he stood, and the victim turned when he shouted, there's only one place the killer could have been. The killer shot the victim from... Here! Yeah. Let's give this a shot. Oof! <laughs> I believe we all owe a debt of gratitude... ...to Miss Alita Tiala. <laughs> What, what do you mean? Thanks to you, we had a chance to review the crime. And this time, we were prepared. We know that Wesley Stickler was telling the truth. We should have listened to him from the beginning. Wesley Stickler was standing next to the trash can when he saw the two men. Shouted, just as he told us in his testimony. And the victim turned to look at his direction. A shot was fired. The victim was hit in the right temple. Oh no! Oh yes! Which direction was his right temple facing at that moment? <laughs> Wait, is, uh, uh, is, 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 is she gonna be shown in the 3D? That's right, towards the noodle stand. Oh, she's not. Damn, a little bit disappointed. Order, order, order! So you're saying... The killer was inside the noodle stand? Objection. Oh my god. Let's think about this a bit more, shall we? You say the killer was inside the noodle stand. Which would mean the victim, Dr. Maractus, came to the park. Wheeling his own murderer in the cart behind him. This is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. I think you'd notice if you were pulling someone along. No, because all the contents have been emptied. Like, obviously, oh, it's probably heavy, but it's just like, oh, maybe it's the bowls and the whatever, everything. Objection! There's something we should worry about before that. 
why was he pulling the noodles down in the first place? I don't know, like threatened for, for, for whatever, like, oh, I'm gonna shoot you if you don't carry the noodle stand around or something like that. Anything's possible. Objection. Let's deal with our problems one at a time, shall we? Someone was hiding in the stand. We have not come this far to talk about possibilities. Let's talk about proof, baby. Show us evidence that proves someone was in that stand. Can I prove that? You want evidence that someone was in that stand? Um, do we have it? Hmm. Not really. Like the bowls, yeah, at the clinic, but we didn't bring it to, to the court. Well, there was the little shoe print thing, but we don't have it that in the evidence. Hmm. You do have a bowl? Yeah, but... Where did we find this? On the slippers proves that it lies to yeah I think so I think I've got it I've got it right here intriguing let's see what you've got show us proof that somebody was hiding in the noodle stand if not then I don't have it the Maractus Clinic, and they're covered with paint. These slippers were found in the trash can near the crime scene. And... A single slipper print was found at the scene. Right next to the noodle stand. <laughs> oh, and Miss Tiala. Your toe print was found in the left slipper. <laughs> in other words... This is proof you are inside that noodle stand. Moral of the story, always wear socks. Ah! Objection! Yet there was only one slipper mark found at the scene. Can this be called a footprint in good faith? Objection! Observe the diagram. A park pathway runs right next to the slipper mark. So that it's possible because... The other feet was already like stepping on the road. A slipper wouldn't leave a trace on a cobblestone path. Cobblestone? Like in Minecraft? Objection! Yet, you still cannot say this is a footprint, yeah? Why not? You have an impression left by a single slipper. What if it was on the stand and simply fell to the ground? Don't care. Objection! <laughs> That's... That's just dumb! One more thing. A noodle stand is typically cluttered with the tools of the noodle making trade. Yeah, that's why! They emptied it! They disemboweled the noodle stand. There's no room for a person to ride in there. Hmm. You have a point. Could someone have hidden in that stand? Apollo, I think I might be onto something. I think I figured out one of our pieces of evidence. I disemboweled. <laughs> in order to make room in their stand, some things would have to be. Well, Mr. Justice, do you have proof that someone could have hidden in the stand? Yeah, I can prove one thing. Someone did scheme to clear space in that stand. Eh, so, uh, eh? Where? This one? Is this one? 
Yeah, like leaving the only one bowl. <laughs> yeah, I remember that happened. This is a noodle bowl from the stolen ale dude's noodles noodle stand. Yes, and what about it? We discovered a large quantity of these bowls yesterday. In the lobby of the Maractus Clinic. A large quantity of noodle bowls in the victim's clinic? Mr. L. Dune was very clear about those bowls. Well, I don't care who did it. Without that stand, I'm finished. All my noodle bowls were in there too. Yet the bowls were removed. That night, there was space inside that noodle stand. Space created at the Maractus Clinic, no less. Right around the time that you were there, Miss Alita Tiala. Stop! I won't listen to any more of these wild fantasies. No, not fantasies. They're worse lies than that spoiled brat's pickup line, so she hates him. I would like to remind the witness of her current status. Man, yeah, please just show me the 3D diagram with Tal Ta Alita inside the cart, and that would make my day. <laughs> this court does not consider you entirely innocent. Show me an innocent, I'll show you a fairy tale. In any case, the defense has somehow made its point. The witness had both a motive and an opportunity to kill Dr. Maractus. More fairy tales. This whole trial is a fairy tale. Then please, pull us back down to reality, Miss Tiala. I'm giving you one last chance to explain yourself. This is it. Why was Dr. Maractus pulling that stand that night? And what was Alita Tiala doing inside it? Exercise for a diet. Time to get the bottom to the bottom of this case. Sheesh. All right. Yeah. Do, 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 do. That night, I went to ask Dr. Maractus for the chart. I had no intention of ever letting that chart fall into the Kentucky family's hands. But Dr. Maractus didn't understand. For some reason, he thought the Kentuckys had sent me. So I gave up and went home. All I did was talk to him. You knew about the botched operation. So you tried to get rid of the chart to save yourself. I won't make excuses. And I did warn the good doctor. I gave him a chance. I told him that Brad got his health checkup report. And that he was coming to settle the score. Hmm. I see. Very well, Mr. Justice. Begin your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. This is the last testimony. Either I perceive the truth, or it's over. Alright, we need to perceive, I guess. Actually, I want to I wanna ask. So, you did go to steal that chart. Were you listening? I said I asked him for it. The victim was a man in good health. I don't see how she could have coerced him. True, it would have been impossible without a pistol. <laughs> but what if she did have a pistol? I'll admit I wanted the chart. That much is true. My reason was simple. I had no intention of ever letting the chart fall into the Katakis family's hands. It certainly would have put a damper in your wedding plans, I'd say. And not only that, if the Katakis had gotten that chart, I'd probably be with Dr. Maractus now, pulling that great noodle stand in the sky. <laughs> oh, that's scummy. It seems our witness was in a fix as well. Who would want to die pulling a noodle stand? When I die, it will be by disappearing mysteriously in the middle of a magic act. Yo, don't say stuff like that, girl. Can we be a little less morbid, please? <laughs> so you see, I needed that chart. But Dr. Maractus did understand. Oh. It. He didn't understand? He wouldn't listen to a word I was saying. The moment he saw me, he started to tremble. 
<laughs> I thought, what a sad excuse for a man. Um, please don't smell like that anymore, it's creepy. <laughs> it was practically delusional. Hold it! They sent you? He thought that Kitakis had sent me to get the chart. Makes some sense. You are their son's fiance. Don't make me laugh. The Kotakis send me? They don't play that way. If they had known about that chart, they would have gone in there with guns blazing. But I couldn't convince the trembling doctor otherwise. So I gave up and went home. All I did was talk to him. If that was really all that happened... What were all those noodle bowls doing there? Yeah? So how should I know? There weren't any bowls when I went, I know that much. Why don't you let me be and go look for your killer someplace else, alright? Hmm. Do I detect uncertainty there? This is my last chance. Apollo, any word from your bracelet? Yeah, actually. I felt it respond. I couldn't see a thing. It's up to you, Apollo. Time to perceive the truth. Here comes justice. All I did was talk to him. Maybe. Okay, let's see. Gato, gato, lo mandi. She didn't shower yet. That's why itchy. All I did was talk <laughs> and lie. <laughs> what? Show me proof. I'm pretty sure about this one. I think I'm getting the hang of this. A little slip in confidence, and they give it all away. Yeah, that's what they call badgering the witness, Apollo. That's what it is. That's that's badgering the witness quite literally, but also um, she's a liar, so it's fine. The proof is you, Miss Tiala. It's so funny that we are actually like legitimately, you know, Ace Attorney One Two Three. P uh, prosecutors always like stop badgering the witness. I'm like I'm not doing it, but like we as Apollo are quite literally doing that. Like you know, you have a nervous habit. You know, we we are. All I did was talk to him, you claim? Yeah, you can't hide your own nervous twitch when you say those words! My twitch? <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm not a streamer! You have a habit of scratching the area of your neck around the edge of your scarf. What? what, 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 what? This is working better than I'd hope. Her unconscious actions tell the truth she won't say. Habits and lies. Two dots. Connect the dots and find the truth. She looks so uneasy. Don't look at me like that. If I, I told you the truth. <laughs> I almost spent my drink. TTV Alita the Killer. <laughs> it seems that when you recall what really happened in that office... You can't keep your hands off your neck, can you? <gasps> Did the doctor strangle her or something? Or I don't know, maybe something happened, I don't care. It seems that nervous habits are unconscious reactions that manifest when someone is trying to hide something. You can't hide behind your scarf, Miss Tiala. Something happened between you and the victim in the Maractus Clinic office. <gasps> <laughs> and I've got proof that shows his... Oh, uh, the the booba bay booba. Ini kali, ini gasi. Red stain on the cord. Was she like strangled and she? I don't know. Maybe I think. Was that? You're touching your scarf again. 
<gasps> there's something unusual about this lamp. The bulb is broken, and there's a red splotch on the cord. <laughs> Seeing how you hide your neck, let's see it. I think I can come up with a plausible explanation for the lamp state. Well, spit it out! This talking in circles nonsense is killing me! Well, you're not the one dead, at least. Ha 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 ha! Have some relief in that? Very well. The answer is very simple. Miss Alita Tiala. Please remove your scarf. <gasps> but. Ah! She's so, um. Just like, ah! Oh my god! What if if she opens her scarf, her neck will fall off? Wait, that sounds like something from somewhere. That's definitely happened somewhere. This is a trial to determine what happened in that part. We seem to have drifted off target. Objection! We'll find out soon enough if we're drifting. As soon as the witness removes her scarf. I... I won't do it. This is insane! I'm a... An, an unrelated third party! You can't ever what? You can't... You can't order me to remove my clothing! Miss Tiala, the court, indeed, is allowed to ask you to remove your clothing. I'm afraid you've forgotten what's already been proven. What? You're hardly unrelated. Please remove your scarf. No! No! I knew it. So I was right, wasn't I? Miss Alita Tiala? <gasps> no, the crocodile anzir! Your neck! That isn't what I think it is? Coin therapy! Maybe she had a little bit of enter wind. Masuk angin, the crocodile, jadinya. Menurut aku sih. Tiala crocodile. A little bit of coin therapy when you are enter wind, you know? Something did happen that night at the Maractus Clinic. You needed to get that chart back, no matter what it took. Even if you had to steal your fiancé's pistol to do it. But wait! Looking at this lamp and the witness's neck, it looks like the very opposite happened. Exactly. The victim in the clinic that night was Alita Tiala. Was this witness? Specifically? You tried to threaten Dr. Maractus and he attacked you. That's what happened that night at the Maractus Clinic. <laughs> Wait. The wings! The wings! Order, order, order! Will someone please tell me what really happened? Okay... I told you the truth already! I went to the clinic that night to warn Dr. Maractus. Sheesh! That's a pretty cool art, actually. That gangster knows everything! He's coming for you. Looks like my clinic's seen its last patient. We have to get rid of that chart! Quick! Hope you're safe! Give it to me! So you can save your own skin? What? I know what you're up to. You want in with the family. And if they see that chart, you're finished. Ooh, he got it all figured out. Leaving me holding the short straw. But if I'm going down, I want some company. You. And what happened next? He jumped at me and knocked me to the floor. <gasps> oh my gosh. Then... He took that cord. Oh, no! 
really good art though, by the way. How this was serious. Deadly serious. Oh my gosh. Okay. He really tried to strangle me. Like the artwork is really good. Like how do I even how do I hide the how do I hide the interface? <laughs> I'm like, how do I hide the interface? This is good. <laughs> I... I must have blacked out. Oh, you can see it in the gallery? But yeah, like, seriously, like, the art in this game is so good. The animation in the court as well is so good. So... You were the victim. And the red splotch on the court was your lipstick. I... I didn't want to remember that night. That's why I didn't bring it up. There. Are you happy now? It... I was out cold. Almost killed. And you claim I didn't snuck into that noodle stand. But how could I? Maybe you weren't out cold for that long, I don't know. Well, one thing is clear. We now know what really happened at the Maractus Clinic. And it would seem that our victim was not entirely without blame himself. I... I'm sorry. I get so nervous just thinking of it. It's hard to breathe. I've told you everything. Can I go home now? Hmm. He bears some responsibility for his events that day, it's true. Yet, if you were also a victim... <gasps> oh, shoot! Wait, what if the Dr. Maractus wants to dump her in a river? <laughs> what if Maractus... What if she's all cold and Maractus is pulling the stand because he wants to dump her in the river? <laughs> yet, yeah, if you were also a victim... This car would owe you some sympathy. Well, Mr. Justice, I believe this clears up the remaining questions for Mr. Tialu. Why not just carry her in the car? I don't know. Because the car. I don't know. I actually don't know. Because. I don't know. What about the hit and run? What was the hit and run again? There was, uh, there was hit and the hit and run stuff. And the muffle because the car didn't work because there was panties inside it. Yeah, remember the uh, Gavin said, you know, uh, and when he, something about the exhaust. That's why he stole the stand. Oh. <laughs> Imagine having your evil plan thwarted by panties. Hold on, let, let's see though. When did this happen? Suddenly, everyone's sympathizing with her. Oh my god. Don't be fooled. We've, seen, we, we, we've had these kind of witnesses before. Come on. I don't know what to think anymore, Apollo. I mean, is that it? Do we know everything we need to know about Miss Tiala? Very well. This finishes the cross-examination of this. Objection! Ooh. <laughs> Not so fast. This part is just getting started. Now, we rock. What? Those spikes on your head are softer than they look. Or do you not have the stomach to go all the way? Ooh. Prosecutor Gavin? How Maractus choked Alita Tiala. She fell unconscious. But what happened next? He's right. There is more we don't know. But she was choked hard enough to leave that mark. Yeah, and? She would have been out for a while. Yeah, and? Then what happened? What did Maractus do? Even still, what if it was her in the noodle stand? 
Elise Atiala half dead. Dr. Marais is pulling that stand. Yeah, he wants to dump her in the river. And a bullet fired from inside the noodle stand. Maractus must have been kind of stupid, you know, like... <laughs> she was alcohol and she, if he transported her from... to the noodle stand, he should have... she should have... disposed of the gun. <laughs> what if it's all true? We might have already figured out what truly happened that night. Miss Alita Tiala, as you can see... We're not thorough with you just yet. Yeah, or I think he, he thinks that she's dead and just dumped the gun with her anyways because if the gun is somehow in the clinic, it's sus, you know, maybe. You really want to blame me for this murder, don't you? You too. Prosecutor, Gavin. Me? <laughs> for a line, I only wish to know the truth. Well, let's go back over what we've learned up until now. On the day of the murder, Waki saw his checkup report. From which he learned about the bullet still inside him. So, he took a pistol from the family stash. With the intent to give Dr. Maractus some of his own medicine. And Miss Tiala heard about this from Waki. So, she went to the Maractus clinic ahead of him. In order to get rid of the charge for their signature. But then, something happened. Brrr. Sounds like you figured it all out. But remember, I was the victim. I was out cold. But for how long? But what about Dr. Maractus? Exactly. That does seem to be the problem. He had just strangled Alita Tiala, perhaps he thought, to death. What did he do after his crime? I was just knocked out, not dead. From the state of his clinic and the scene in the park. I think it's clear what the good doctor did next. Well, head of forehead, care to guess? <sighs> well, Mr. Justice, what did Dr. Maractus do? Maybe he did think he killed Alita Tiala. Do I have evidence to show what he did next? The cart. Take that! As his next move, Dr. Maractus stole Guy Eldun's noodle stand. What? Killing me disturbed him that much? She's like, what the fuck is wrong with this guy? So much he randomly stole a noodle stand? It wasn't so random. Remember all the bowls in the clinic's foyer? Bowls that belonged inside that stand? I think it's pretty obvious, don't you? That stand was at the clinic. However, the question is, why did he remove the bowls? Maybe because the stand was heavy? Or he wanted to put something in the stand in their place. Oh. Wait, you don't mean... I do. Dr. Maractus did replace those bowls with something. Your corpse, Miss Tiala. My corpse? Dr. Maractus panicked. He thought he'd killed you. His next move would be to dispose of the body. That's crazy talk. You're all crazy. Objection! Then let's think about it. Logically. The doctor had a place to dispose of you in mind. But on his way there. Who should he run into but the defendant? Walkie Kataki. I question your logic. What's this prosecutor gave in? The park is a dead end. Why would he head in that direction to begin with? That's right. He had no reason to go there. Oh, now I get it. It was a trick. That spoiled brat made him do it. He made the doctor steal the stand. Objection! Tell me, why would someone go to a dead end? Unless the park was his destination. 
What? Apparently, the defense has an idea. Tell us where Dr. Maractus was heading with the stand. Here, please show us on this diagram. To where exactly was the victim dragging the stand? I think to the here. There? That's a... A river! Yes, Your Honor. I scarcely need to explain why. A perfect place to dispose of a body. He was going to throw me into that river? He didn't have many other options, Fräulein. I believe this clears up all of the remaining questions. The victim pulling the stand and the defendant before him. And inside the stand, you, Miss Alita Tiala. And then, the denouement. Wesley Stickler, of panty-snatching fame. <laughs> oh god, his reputation is ruined for life. Walks up. Seeing the two men, he shouts. In that instant. Oh my god, are we gonna see? Are we gonna see her inside the stand? Oh my god, oh my god, hold on. Please, 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 please. Alita 3D debut! <laughs> I love how the walls, even better, the walls just fly up! <laughs> and she even posed, did a sexy pose, a little sexy pose, you know? Hey, shoot! <laughs> oh gosh. So, I shot him. You were the only one who could have stolen Walkie's pistol. It had to be you! Well, Miss Tiala? <laughs> nice work. You mean, I'm right? <laughs> Apollo's just like pulling, like, you know, <laughs> cooking these ideas. <laughs> cooking these wacky ideas for no reason, just like me. And he's like, huh? I'm right? <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he reacts like me for real. I mean, you've done a fine job dreaming up a story. Dreaming? Excuse me? To get that spoiled brat off the hook. I was like, I'm not insane. <laughs> You're the one who's dreaming. Apollo's backed up everything he said with facts. If you're so sure he's making it up, Give us another reason! Why was Dr. Maractus pulling that stand through the park? Who knows? But there's one gaping hole in your logic. I think Mr. Gavin knows whereof I speak. Where of what? I can't believe she's still trying to deny this. Is this true, Prosecutor Gavin? Must I always be the one to point out that a forehead's errors? Maybe there really is something. I believe the Fräulein speaks of her doctor's car. I know. I know why. We kind of we figured it out, right, chat? His car? That's right. The Maractus Clinic has that big garage. The one with the cat. In which sat a green sports car, was it? And a cat. Why would he steal the stand in the first place? If he wanted to carry a body, he would have used his car. Ugh. And so we find our victim without the probable cause to steal that stand. And our defense without a case. Um, I have an idea. You know that green car? I bet it wouldn't run. It was broken. Ah, what an excellent counter-argument, Fräulein. Too bad you're quite wrong. It... Don't tell me you've forgotten what happened to your daddy. The hit and run? Daddy? That's right. That night, the car that hit Mr. Wright was that green sports car, but that was pre. That was before the panties incident. 
Oh, yes, I nearly forgot about it. Afterwards, he drove it back to that garage. It ran fine. It ran fine, just not just only at the time. That's right. So why did he use his beloved sports car, hmm? A glaring contradiction, to be sure. More glaring than your forehead. Yo, what? No! Order, order, order! Well, Mr. Justice, why didn't Dr. Maractus use his car to carry the body? Uh, um... Is that a grow and a surrender right here? Some advice. And now's a good time to review all you know. Everything you've learned over the last two days. <laughs> yeah, he's like dropping hints about... Well, you know, remember what I said? Remember what I said about the exhaust? At the park? You remember that? <laughs> Everything I've learned? Mr. Justice... This contradiction casts doubt on your entire case. This is truly your last chance. The defense will explain to us what happened that night. The car didn't run. I have an idea. It's all coming together. That night, Dr. Maractus couldn't use his car. Ha! Now you're making even less sense than usual. Not according to my information, Miss Tiala. Put one and one together, and the explanation is simple. If it's so simple, perhaps you can show us some evidence? Show us proof why the car wouldn't run that night. Take that! The panties. Let's see now. Panties? Again? of things come out of my pennies even the truth <laughs> that's nice mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. she's so she's so confused another crime was committed the night of the murder the theft of these pennies the latest in a string of similar thefts actually but that night the snatcher was caught in the act a brave young girl chased the thief until he hid in the Maractus Clinic garage. What? The snatcher hid the panties there before running. Perhaps someone in this court remembers where he hid them. Why, weren't they found in the car's exhaust pipe? Exactly. By the way, I learned something yesterday. A very important piece of information. And I learned it from you! Prosecutor Gavin. Uh, so you are here investigating? And I was on my way home when my hog gave up the ghost. Your hog? My motorcycle who won't start. A clogged exhaust pipe. Too bad. It looks like such a nice bike too. Hard to believe that it could break just from that. Cars, motorbikes, they're all the same. Clog the exhaust and they won't run. My, how interesting. While Miss Tiala and the doctor were struggling, the panty snatcher snuck into the Maractus garage. From that time until the time we found these, that car wouldn't start. Wh what? That's why Dr. Maractus had to use the noodle stand. It was the next closest thing he could think of. <laughs> well, Miss Tiala. <laughs> um, uh, uh, um, this wraps your doubts up quite nicely, I think. <laughs> so it does. Like she's she's the murderer. She doesn't even know like half the things that happened because she was like knocked out cold. Man, imagine! Imagine if the panty thief... God, she owes the panty thief her life. <laughs> Quite literally. Where? Where am I? 
so dark. Can't see. Cramped. The pain. My throat's burning. What's your problem? You, Doc! I know what you did! Uh. Walkie? You lied to me! So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna give you a taste of your own medicine, man! Wait! Let me explain! Fine, I'll give you your last request. Listen, you're being tricked! But not how you think! <gasps> oh! So Maractus was about to blab! It's not just me! No! I'll ruin everything! Ooh, sexy pose! I have to stop him! <laughs> oh my god! I love it! She's just posing and there's the, the whole... Ooh, the kitchen... the kitchen tools and everything! Sexy silhouette! <laughs> sexy murder pose! <laughs> You know, like if this was like a giant, like the kids could like use this as a slide. Wee! <laughs> Before I go to jail, I need to be sexy. <laughs> Say, is this I want you to? Oops. This isn't the way it was supposed to turn out. Oh well. Too bad. <laughs> oh my god. There's still one mystery. How did you manage to disappear from that stand? Disappear? Didn't she just get out? In the silence after the shots, I heard the witness running. I believe we heard as much from Wesley Stickler. She went he went to use a public phone to inform the police. Which is when I made my escape. Yeah, I thought she just walked out. <laughs> which is when you left that slipper print. Dr. Maractus didn't bother taking my slippers off. I threw them out after I stepped in that paint, though. That was your mistake. No, my biggest mistake... ...was coming to you for help, Mr. Justice. <gasps> Actually, she's right. It... I believed in you. You and your anything agency. If anyone would get walkie declared guilty, it was you. Man! So she purposely looked for something that's like shady, that looks shady AF and like, oh my god, I bet this attorney would do a terrible job. Let's go to him. <laughs> she, <laughs> she thought we were so bad. <sighs> Damn, I thought you were trash. I was wrong. Another murder in the court. I believe we've reached a conclusion of sorts. Prosecutor Gavin, how is Miss Alita Tiala doing? She's confessed to everything. We are processing her arrest now. Prosecutor Gavin sure seems calm for someone who just lost. I think he already knew. He'd figured out she was the killer a while ago. Some advice? Now is a good time to review all you know. Everything you've learned over the last two days. He lost. But I didn't exactly win either. Yeah, he's been carrying you, to be fair. Hmm? Something the matter, her forehead. Looks like it's time to announce the verdict. <laughs> I like his jacket, though. He's cute. Yeah, Udala. Court is adjourned. Month of this. Ah! 
June seventeenth. Great job, Apollo! You did it! Yeah, we did somehow. Walk is off the hook. Free to become the gangster he's always wanted to be. And he has you to thank. Hey, attorney man! Uh, who is this? You're gonna pay for what you did to my Alita, Holmes! Or to blame, I guess. You give my Alita back! Stupid pointy head attorney with a death wish! Enough, Walkie! Ooh, the dad. Oh, Mr. Kotaki. It's high time you opened your eyes, Walkie. His name is Big Winds. What do you know, old man? I think it's about time you opened yours. Giving up the life, trying to become some kind of businessman. Don't talk about what you don't understand, Walkie. I'm afraid the guard is going to throw them both out. If not in jail, wouldn't that be a happy ending? Hey, maybe we can help them out. We know why Mr. Kotaki needs to make so much money. <gasps> the heart operation? Maybe we should tell Walkie. Oh, Walkie? Apollo has something to tell you. Huh? I do? Way to put me on the spot. Eh? Was that? Show him the reason why, Apollo. Why is Mr. Kotaki trying to become a businessman? I think it's Walkie's chart. And hold on, hold on. For th is it this one? The checkup report or the chart? I'm not sure which one. I think this one, the checkup report. Because I think um he wants to um he wants to maybe because he knows he's in danger and he suddenly he needs the money maybe to bring him overseas and do a, a p operation with like a super good doctor, you know? Hmm. Yes, 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 yes. It's the mom's panties. Yeah, I think it's the checkup report. Think about it, Walkie. Think about your condition. I talked with your mother, Little Plum, yesterday. It pays. But we need a lot of money right now. Clean money, that is. She doesn't mean... You aren't really... <laughs> well, yo, why, why, why does he suddenly have anime eyes? I searched the globe, and I found one. Yeah, like... And all like a lot of money to get him to like a really good hospital overseas. I guess that would take on this his operation. A doctor who can take that bullet out of you, Walkie. But it's an expensive procedure. Man, but you got plenty of money already, don't you? I won't use it. It was the gangster life that did this to you, Walkie. I want to help you, and I want to do it clean. They <laughs> found Dr. Blackjack. <laughs> Please understand, Walkie. Damn, he got thick Nori eyebrows. Dad. No. Man, I see how it is, old man. Always you looking up for, up for, Walkie. Listen, good old man. One day, one day, I'm gonna take you out and we'll see who's the OG. You try to hide in your business suit, I'll find you. Stupid old geezer. <laughs> Aww. He doesn't know how to say thank you. He's too... He's too flabbergasted. I know, it says it should be. Mr. Kitaki. I like him more without the puppy dog eyes. <laughs> I'm glad to have met you. I'm not so good with words. But I know a professional job when I see one. Thank you. Who, me? I don't think. <laughs> Someday, I'll bake you one of our latest. The Kotaki Lime Pie. 
he's opening a pie shop? So long. Damn. And he was gone. Well, let's head back, Apollo. To the Right Anything Agency. Hey, since when do I work at your agency? Aw, we make a good team. Don't just stand there. Let's get going. Huh? Why not? She did help me out. <laughs> and there's a few questions that still need answers. Ooh, man. Like this power of mine that she showed me. My bracelet. If anyone can help me figure it out, it's her. Though I can't say I care much for what her father has become. Yeah! He's kind of a weirdo now. I don't know how I feel about him. Oh, that's right! We have to go someplace first. Huh? Where? Why? To claim our reward from Mr. Eldoon! Ah, <sighs> salty noodles. Right. He got his stand back already. Oh, and after that, you can come see my show. With a special appearance by the amazing Mr. Hat. Oh, it's special, alright? Please, anything but him. Yay! Let's save. Ooh, turnabout serenade! Woo! We have successfully cleared a case too. And next time I think I think it's a I think it's good to um check out episode three next week, you know, just to uh, be a little neater. I think like in a lot of um I think in previous Ace Attorney games I always go like, oh maybe I wanna check out a little bit of the next case, but I don't know. I kind of feel like this whole um cuz last time I remember, you know, we paused every right before every beginning of chapters, of every beginning of investigation or at least days. So, and I felt like it's good. It's not as overwhelming. So, you know, tomorrow fresh start, blah blah blah. Yeah. <laughs> Helps you keep the facts straight this way. Yeah. I feel like it's less organized, it's nice. We've been away for two we've been away for two weeks and um I don't know, maybe it's because it's episode two, it's still easy, but I find that was um actually a pretty nice um you know investigation and trial. Yeah. That's interesting. Uh yeah, and as always in Ace Attorney, um silly thinking uh gets you rewarded. That's pretty awesome. I hope the next case has a sexy pose. <laughs> All came together nicely. It's nice. It's pretty funny. Car, Pantsu, murder. Kind of, yeah. I'm glad that, um, you know, and they also, uh, they also introduced us the footprint mechanic. The whole, um, yeah, the foot plaster thing it was nice uh, personally i really like uh the fact that we have emma so i'm really looking forward to seeing her hmm. but unlike gumshoe she doesn't really she doesn't really testify much does she at least so far i don't know if she's gonna testify next but either way we're still gonna see her probably during investigation so awesome hell yeah emma's great she grew up to be a, such a fine um snack eater <laughs> What? But anyways, yeah. Uh, we're gonna be reading Super Chats. Uh, and we're gonna change the screen. Do -do 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 Alright. She does in the other games. Alright. Emma's growing up design feels perfect. Yeah, I agree, I agree. <laughs> Grow up to be a fine snack eater. Exactly, that's what she is. A good snack eater. Okay, a second. Hold on. Yeah, she grew in character. I wonder how she is though. I wonder how she is with them. With them, with them, with them, with them, with them. 
uh, what the sister? What's the sister name? Lana? Yeah. Lana. Lana Lana Sky. So um, I don't remember how old Lana is uh, at Rise from the Ashes, but Emma was really young. And then Emma, I believe, is twenty five right now, so it's been nine years. Wasn't she 16 or 17? I don't remember or I'm not sure. Yeah. And Len Lena was late 20s. So she would be like... Mm, so she would be like... 40? She would be like 40 or like late 30s. Mm. Lena was 29. So plus... Plus something years. Mm. Wasn't Lena arrested? Yeah, I know, but like, how old would she be? Like late thirties, like thirty-eight or something? Yeah, something like that. Ten years, seven years, something around that. So like late thirties, I do believe. All right. Whew. Very nice. She's living an okay life. At least she's still alive. Hopefully. We don't know that, but hopefully she's alive. Hmm. Anyways, thank you so much. We're going to be reading super chats for this stream. Uh, we have Anton M. Whoa, Rainy, don't point the gun at us. Yeah, we ended up only using the gun for like one thing and one thing only. But I guess that doesn't really matter. The case was... Uh, I didn't expect the case to be super... To be that straightforward. You know, it's kind of like, um, you know, in a, um, in a case like this, it's normally always the girlfriend or always the spouse or something. Like, to be fair, it's not Walkie who died, but, you know, it's always some sinister stuff like that, you know, normally. So that's, it, that, that's also how I was like, this is probably, this is most definitely like a family thing. That's what I, uh... You know, that's what I... Mm, from the start. But I think, like, the one, the the part that surprised me... Like, of course, we did piece it together. But I didn't really think that... I didn't really think that... Um, Ractus uh, strangled um, the lady. Mm. Yes, 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 yes. I think they kept the case simple. Also, because uh, they wanted to introduce to us the mechanics of the thingy. Mm, very nice. And I think it's still really nice that it's 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 kind of like so many unrelated cases uh, boiling down to two separate cases, which turned out to be very related. Which is like the the other case, the Patty case, is the key reason why the well supposedly killer turned victim did what he did. Hmm. So awesome. Yes, 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 yes. So it was good. Like, it did feel like something like so... Uh, so messy, you know. So many unrelated cases. Cases that seem unrelated and blah, 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 blah. But somehow, uh, you know, like... So what, it, what even is the first trial for? Is it to just prolong the case or what? But it is actually related. That's crazy. You know? It's just like, I think this game is really good at doing that, you know, separate things, separate things, and turned out everything is connected. It's like, whoa, you know. Still can't get over the fact that, you know, Alita probably owes her life to the Penny Snatcher guy. <laughs> well, she's gonna be in jail, but at least she's not gonna be dead. Yeah. Anyways. We have Sloth Shadows. If L Dune used to be, well, or I don't know. What did they do for killing people? Will, will she get the death penalty? I'm not sure. Hmm. But yeah. Well, at least if um, at least if she's dying, then it wouldn't be in the river. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe maybe you know they will they will measure the they will measure the thingy. Hmm. Depends on the circumstances. Yeah.
If Alagoon used to be a doctor, we can rest easy that he knows sanitary conditions, the rainwater he collects in a rusty barrel to make his noodles with, and the dirty corner of an alley where he makes them must be sanitary. Real. We have Yenwei. Hair dryer sounds like air fryer, both the word and the noise they make. That takes me back. Mmm, nice. <laughs> Yeah, Dr. Eldoon. The hair was very unexpected, actually. And then threw a little bit of a... Threw a little bit of red herring as well with like, Ooh, the doctor having this, you know, Oh my god, I knew him from the past, you know, He always wants to one-up. <laughs> and it's like, what? Like, why is he doing the noodles? Is he trying to, trying to start a noodle business now as well? <laughs> That's funny. Mm. The hair jump scare though, it was a wig after all. Anyways, um... The... We have Slot the Shadows. The game's idea of art was simply too limiting for you to complete your vision of the perfect plaster cast. Real. I mean, I like it. I like the mini games though. We already have the fingerprint mini game, the plaster mini game. What's next? I feel like they're doing, you know, above and beyond in the terms of the, mi of the mini games. Hmm... If Anton M, do you feel the epigenetic ecstasy of forensic science? Yes, I do. As a matter of fact, munch, 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 munch. We have Slot Shadows. My cat was so terrified of this hat I bought one time, he would run out of the room. So it's actually plausible the cat would be scared of Apollo's hair. Yeah, cats get scared of like really weird things. I don't know. Different cats get scared of different things, but I've seen um, or I've heard enough stories, you know. If Anton M, what's so crunchy you eating? Sounds like Emma snack. Yeah, it's for the immersion, right? <laughs> what do you think of Clavier? Eh, he's pretty good. Oh, uh, he's pretty good. I like his vibes. Uh, a fresh take on like, uh, you know, a fresh difference from all the prosecutors we've had so far. So that's good. I like it. Uh, we have... Uh, Sloth of Shadows. I saw some modern art in a museum that was just a piece of wood with water stains on it. Your fully white fingerprint powder screen would look great next on it. <laughs> my art! Oh my gosh. Yummy. We have Frenzies. In JP, Waki and Olita's names are Katagitakita, North, 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 and Nami, Nami, Nami. <laughs> south, South, South. Nice. Hmm. We have Yenwei, plot twist, Alita isn't evil. She's just Haluba, tragic romance, and soap opera plots. Well, she's kind of evil in a way. Mm. We have Anton M, she finally revealed her Waki, mm, her dark secret. Yes. And that night, no, Stan was serving salty Alita. Salty Alita? <laughs> Everyone should be undressed in court from now on. Yeah, it's kind of like an inspection, you know? Hmm. We clavier fangirls clogged his pipe with pantsu for real. Ew, what the heck? You know, like the crazy fans. <laughs> I pray for his safety. We have Thunderhawk TH. Congrats on your 3D debut, Alita. That's what that's what we were waiting for. That's what we were waiting for, man. Like, please. And whoa! And even then they also gave us the side the side view 2D. That's so generous. Didn't have to blow up the ramen stand, so <laughs> yeah. Started her 3D debut with a bang, exactly. Yes, Slot the Shadows. Can we adopt Maractus' cat now that it needs a new home? I don't think it's even his cat. Apollo can cut his hair if it's too scary. Ready to have a cat, exactly. Like just be bald and use the cat. You know, make the cat uh, always rest on your head, just like as a wig replacement. Mm. We have Anton M. Ponzi Thief, the hero the city deserves. And we have Ferdinand Yonatan. Kukira Chupu, Trinata Master Woman. Yeah, she thought we were trash, but we were master attorneys with 100% win rate. Yes. We have Anton M. We sold four cases for the price of one. Soldy Bowl. Exactly. It's not the shadows. I really admire the skill of AA writers. The Penny Thief wasn't just an incidental detail. I don't know. I thought it was just like trolling us. Like, why was. The why is this plot so intricate? Like, this is too intricate. Like, what are you on? That's, you know, y'all, you know. The final point of the case hinged on Penny is real. So it all comes together at the end. Man. But yeah, awesome. I had fun with this case as well. Um, and then we'll see 
what the third case is gonna be about. It's called Turnabout Serenade. I wonder what it's about. Intriguing from the title itself. But I don't know. Everything's always so uh, vague with uh, titles, you know. Second episode's called Turnabout Corner. This one's Serenade. Who's gonna sing? Sing to who? Yeah. I'm not sure. But we'll see next week. I'm excited for it. So in the end, did we return back Plum's panties? I don't know. Maybe... No, I don't think so. Because she's like, I keep it as a souvenir or something. Oh! But anyways, yeah. Anton M, keep your panties safe, everyone. Just not in... In in what? I didn't see it. <laughs> I couldn't see. <laughs> in? 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 <laughs> It's ours, it's ours now. Yeah, like a souvenir thing, right? Oh, just not in pipe, I see. <laughs> I was wondering how you say happy birthday, good morning, and goodbye in Indonesian. Happy birthday is... Ah, yeah, I can write this actually. Hold on. Yes. I can write this actually. Happy birthday is... Selamat ulang tahun. This is polite. Uh, good morning is Salamat Pagi. Good. Goodbye is. Apa ya? Dada. Selamat pagi or pagi. Selamat ulang tahun or. Selamat ulta HBD. <laughs> Yes. <sighs> Goodbye, Dada. Balik dulu, all. Balik dulu, guys. Cabut, bro. Okay. Very nice. Happy weekend. Okay. Anyways, that's it for today. Thank you so much. Terima kasih perhatiannya. Thank you very much for your attention. Tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. We do have a collaboration with Eofi. We're gonna do a super rare drawing stream and a collab with that. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm gonna uh, make the thumbnail still, but we will draw. <laughs> okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, take care, everybody. Selamat so, kasih, everybody. Bye 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 bye